Yeah, 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 it's Mr. Young. <laughs> and it's Foreign in the building. And we are here live at the Grapple Max Pro Wrestling Studios, joined by the one and only Prabhu. Woo, Prabhu, Prabhu, what are you doing here, bro, on the podcast? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, mm-hmm. I was told that there's a show coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that you need a more objective view <laughs> of the uh, okay. can, can we call him our Grapple Max correspondent? Yeah, for sure. Analyst. Officially. What's your favorite title? Uh, I like the silverback, but I think okay. correspondent is, is good. I okay. Am, I am an objective silverback after all. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so for some context to our listeners as well, right? Uh, Prabhu, of course, is unfortunately down with an injury, mm. a bit of a long term injury. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Do you want to give us like a, a, a quick update on what how's that been and you know how's everything? Right. So going? I'll make it quick. I have a torn ACL and a partially torn meniscus. Oof. I'm going to be out of injury for nine months or so. Mm. Mm-hmm. So in the meantime, I'm here. With my two podcast buddies. Yeah. And we're here to cover what's going on in the world of wrestling. Nice. Nice. And it has nothing to do with my connection with them and Showtime and me doing their team yeah. song. It's like, <laughs> to do it's just, nothing to do. It's just sure basically, enough. you know, one day, you know, the Silverback came yeah. to us and I was like, hey, I'll be out. You know, I just did a Triple H. Right, right. You know, yeah. so I did a Triple H. I just yeah. did a Triple H. So in the meantime, you need anyone to give objective views mm. on wrestling, not just local wrestling, WWE, AEW. Yep. He'll be our Daniel Cormier. He'll yes. be, yeah, Daniel you know, Cormier. our wrestling analyst, our big E, mm-hmm. you know. At this point in time. Yes. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Of course, all this wouldn't be possible if we didn't have the ability to keep the lights on. We want to give a shout out to our lovely sponsor, Hasif. Hasif underscore captures, by the way. That's his Instagram. Hey, do us a favor, drop him a follow, all right? Show him some love, like how he's shown us love. And he's seen the love in this pro wrestling community and he's so impressed by it, bro. Yeah, yeah, but he's been calling us geeky, though. though. I do take offense to that. I do not tell. I, I no. am King Geek. Oh, yeah. Geeky <laughs> just means that you are passionate, bro. There's nothing wrong with. Being yeah, passionate about something. But nothing about that is geeky in mm. the sense that because he said like, "Whoa, we can talk about one or two hours worth of wrestling," and I'm like, "Those, those are amateur hours, rookie bro. numbers, rookie bro. numbers. What two? We can go five hours. Yes, if you want. correct. Especially so if you guys, <laughs> uh, you don't want to get him into the involved in the community, do follow him. Yes, do check out the things that he do. He's an independent financial advisor. Yes, he can. Uh, he he's. Uh, I think he's an expert in like kind of reviewing your portfolio, financial yep. portfolio as well. And if you want to have tea with him, yep. he has a tea with Hasif series where he can talk about anything under the Sound for entrepreneurship, branding, mm. finance, fitness, bro. He's fitness. a fitness bro. He is a fitness <laughs> bro. He yeah, is. you've seen his stuff. I've or? seen his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in shape. Good He's looking guy, shape. right? He's good looking guy. Good looking guy. Okay. Some people call him the Shane McMahon. The Shane. McMahon. <laughs> you know, maybe he's trying to take over the local wrestling. I said like how Shane McMahon trying to take over like AEW. So I like it. Please follow uh, him. Allegedly, allegedly. With, with the Shane McMahon stuff. Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, drop him a follow. And the best part is, if you do have a meetup with him, right? The first meetup is just for vibes. No business talk. No shop talk. Mm-hmm. He has a little like. Google Forms thing you can fill out uh. on his Instagram page. The link is there. Go and check it out. Once again, it's Hasif underscore captures. Yeah, man. If you're, and you're a local wrestler or mm. you're a local wrestling company, he has never been to a local wrestling mm. show. So probably what should we tell him about like Grapple Mess what they can expect? I would say, Hasif, if you want to watch the best wrestling, unbiased, objective okay. opinion okay. Mm. in Singapore, Grapple Max, Amplify 5, November, October 26th. This weekend. This weekend. Yeah, this yeah. weekend. This we're, Saturday. We're, we're going to be talking about Grapple Max on this show. Yeah. Uh, not only do we have Prabhu on the show, we do have a guest later on as well. Oh, uh, a, a certain Don't Call Me Opa, mm. who we've <laughs> talked to before, mm-hmm. and he's been away for quite a while. Mm-hmm. I am very interested to see what he's been up to, mm. what's his mindset after, you know, quite a few, like, the last time we saw him here <laughs> in the uh, Grapple Max Pro Wrestling Studios was getting the life chopped out of him by Dick Togo. Dick Togo. I think Dick Togo uh, chopped him right out into Eat, Pray, Love territory. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I want to see where his head at, yeah, yeah. is at, and of course, I uh, previewed the entire card with him as well. Yes, as well, and of course, before we dive into his completely objective breakdown of his match, <laughs> let's let's have a second opinion from Prabhu, you know, our, as I say, our big E, our mm. analyst, um, how are you, you know, looking in from the outside in like thinking about how this card is shaping up for Amplify? I think this is actually a very interesting card because there are a lot of matches that are quite unpredictable mm. you know? because the opponents, they might not have the same styles, yeah. but they stack up in ways that makes it very hard to predict an outcome. Mm. Okay, well, I mean, let's go into the card proper. Uh, there's an NWE graduation match. Right. Justin, which is making his debut, yes, yes. Uh, together with Simon Sia versus Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. What can you tell us about Justin? Right, so Justin... I've met him only once or twice. Mm. Quiet, soft-spoken guy, oh. okay. but very smooth in the ring. Ah. He Ooh. picks the physical side up of wrestling just like that. Okay. So nice. he is someone that I think will make a great team right. with Simon Sia, ah. who also picks the physical side up of wrestling right. very well. So what, what would you describe his style as? 
He's a bit on the smaller side, okay. which is not a disadvantage. Mm. He's quick, he's fast, he's technical. Oh, so together with Simon Sia, yeah. their styles sort of mesh good, well together. I la. think so, I think so. Oh, Very interesting. Okay. Okay. And of course, Aussie, 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 we've talked about it as well. You know, they are gunning for the tag team titles yeah. that's happening soon. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm so sorry to hear that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it's also well documented. They do, they do have some sort of dissension brewing. Bro, toxic relationship. Uh, yes. of the fans have labelled it. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think about all that, you know, as a, as, as a shit stereo yourself. I would <laughs> just like to say that YC, Sean, I have prayed for this. Uh, it oh, has happened. Oh, <laughs> oh, because, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> because if I, yes. you know Showtime Mick and the Aussies, we've got a lot of beef. Yeah. And I cannot wait for these two to just finally fall apart. Wait, wait, hang I on, am, hang on. I thought this was supposed to be an objective, it's objective. No, this review. Is the, this is the truth. Have you not seen their yeah, disputes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've got a lot of beef going on between them. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. they are the more experienced tag team and the more successful tag team. Mm-hmm. But... If a certain someone's ego gets in the way and clouds his judgment, oh. you know, even the best tag team in the world, if mm. there's friction between them, mm-hmm. it's going to be a rough ride. Yeah, yeah, oh, very, very interesting yes. to see that. Uh, let's talk about the no respect singles match. Okay? Yes. It's been labeled no respect. I don't know what that entails, but clearly from the social media posts, from what we've heard, mm. Jordan has shown zero respect for Joseph. Right, so let me give you a different way of looking at this okay. match. I would think of it as a very talented individual mm. going up against an extremely hardworking individual. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who is who. Wait, hang on. Uh, <laughs> okay. Talented, hardworking. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> so is Jordan the talented and uh, Joseph the hardworking? Is that... Right, so let me t- take you back. The year, <laughs> the year was 2019. Okay. Oh, okay. Masa Takanashi held a training seminar yeah. that I've asked at Grapple Max. Okay. He saw Jordan, uh. who had yet to make his debut. He said, Singapore wrestling hope. Oh, wow. wow, that is quite wait, wait. the label. Tanahashi? Takanashi? Mas- masa Takanashi. Tak- <laughs> Did you just throw out Taka- random Taka- Japanese Takanashi. sounding words? Takanashi. Takanashi. <laughs> Takanashi. No, no, sorry, sorry. Because I, when I think of that, I think of either Tanahashi or Takahashi. Oh, okay. Right, when you combine the names, I was like, oh, who is that? Okay. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so he basically said that even then, before he was already right. training, he had look, he had the eat factor. He, and it eat. was just the way he moved, you know. He had something about him that yeah. made him stand out. Mm. On the other side, Joseph started training at 35. Ah. 35 is when actually a lot of professional athletes quit and retire. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And he has, I mean, I, I hate to say this about a guy who has been a thorn in the side of Showtime Inc. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the age of 35, he has not only maintained this level of fitness, but he has improved and mm. gotten fitter, faster, stronger. Nice. He's found out the powers of his head when he shaved ball. <laughs> Shaving it helps. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's become much more dangerous, Joseph, than he nice. was. Just the a few years River ago. River Samson, as mm. it were. Yeah. If anyone gets that reference. No, yeah, the River Samson. So, Jordan, he might be overlooking Joseph a bit too much uh-huh. because Jordan has been out of action mm. for eight months. Mm-hmm. Joseph has been in action for eight months. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. only gotten better. Uh, I think Jordan Ooh. might be overlooking Joseph. I'm wow. curious to see what Jordan thinks of the match. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, based on his social media, I don't know if doesn't he thinks think, that much, think much. Yeah, yeah, of Joseph, but we'll have to wait and see. No, I mean, a ring rust is definitely a thing, mm. right? You know, yeah. eight months out, yeah. uh, where is his head at? Yeah. We talked about how, you know, he might be taking a little time off to refocus a bit. Yeah. But yeah. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, and also, of course, the tag team element as well, right? I mean, he's not coming in alone. Absolutely. Uh, Joseph is not coming in alone. He's with his fellow uncle, uh, his fellow ape, yeah. the D. But, <laughs> but okay. the D is Malaysian. Oh, Jordan is Malaysian. I, uh, I don't if? know. Yeah. Wait, what if? But but also like D is not that guy. He's not that type of guy. You know, he's I mean, no disrespect, but he's not like, you know, certain groups who will help guy. each stand other. Up, right? Yeah, he's right. a stand-up You're guy. Suggesting there's some type of uncle solidarity going on between the two. Yeah, they have solidarity, but he won't like cheat or help him in that way. Mm. There's um there, there's an honor, honor yeah, to it. Unlike, honor. you know, certain other groups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are? I have, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, my cool. lectures are straight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there you go. That's uh, Jordan versus Joseph. Uh, tiebreaker singles match. Okay, very interesting. Sarah versus Ming Rui. Right, so Sarah and Ming Rui, two of our premier female mm. athletes here in Grapple Max, they've mm. gone up against each other a mm. lot. Yeah. And this is a very interesting match because they do have somewhat similar styles. They both rely on their hard hitting strikes mm. and their power game. Mm. If you pushed me to. To give someone an itch, mm. I would give it to Mingri personally. Oh, because I have teamed with Mingri, yes. and I think yeah. the one area in which 
she stands out more than Sarah is mm. her ability to find that opening to win the match. Okay. The yeah. killer instinct. The killer instinct. The mm. lion's killer instinct, mm. as it were. Mm. I think Sarah, her teaming with Christian, has gained her a lot of popularity. Sure. Yeah. But maybe it has made her just a bit too nice, a bit too naive. Ah, and Mingri has been sharpening her claws, you know. Yeah, I mean that tiger, that tiger. The lion. Ah, lion. Oh, the lion. The lion. lion. Yeah, study or just yeah, animals, man. Oh, Biology. Oh, yeah. Damn, my animals. <laughs> I need to go back watch Net Geo again. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, Big Dave in action. That's yes. all we know. And yeah, what does that even entail? Yeah. What does that entail? Who knows? Some mm-hmm. people, they seem to think that Big Dave is a public exhibitionist of some sort. I think that will make for an interesting uh, post-match interview. Yeah, for sure. Post-show interview. For sure, for whatever. sure. I, who knows actually? Big yeah. Dave has been in a foul mood mm. for a while now. So... Is he going to come out and cut a promo and bury the whole roster? Yeah. Mm. Is he going to come out and do interpretive dance? <laughs> I want to see he that. He can't go either way. I right? would love to see him start, you know. like. And you know what? He might do both at the same time. Yeah. Cut the promo, dance at the same time. <laughs> he can know? wrestle a broom and I'd be entertaining, I'm pretty sure. sure. You know, Dave could put on a five-star match with a broom. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we have no idea what Dave might do, but he has been in a foul mood. Uh. And uh, his whatever Dave does... It's not gonna be pretty. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, let's talk about that main event. So you got Wonder Boy, you got Poppy, our friends from over at uh, MyPW, uh, M- Malaysia Pro Wrestling, yep, yeah. Right, right, yep. uh, versus Hotshot and Divya. Right. Okay. So again, Hotshot, another opponent that I, not my favorite guy in the world, but mm-hmm. I am an objective Silverback. Mm. I must give him his props. Yeah. He is a fantastic in-ring competitor. Yes. 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 Him as a person, eh, <laughs> uh, but, but in the ring. It's hard to find fault with him. Mm. Okay. He reminds me, his work just reminds me a lot of Bret Hart even. Oh, wow. Very wow. smooth, very quick. That's yeah. a high compliment. But yeah. I will give a lot of compliments to Wonder Boy as well. Yeah. Mm. First time I saw Wonder Boy, he was JY Eagle, yeah. half the size that he is now. Yes. He looks like, Wonder Boy looks like he ate JY Eagle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he has added that power element to his That's game. That's amazing, yeah. yeah. And yeah. he's bringing with him a lot more experience and he's bringing with him Poppy, mm. one of the best female athletes in this entire Southeast Asian mm. region. Yeah, yeah. He, she's apparently the best female wrestler that you've never watched before. Yeah. But yeah. you're the biggest fan of them. Right? Yes, yes. 100%. Yeah. Yes. But I would have to give an edge, a slight edge to Divya. Yes. Okay, a little yes. bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Mm. A mm. lot of experience. Yeah. So yeah. if you're going to ask me, I think the two men in this match, yeah. they are so good, but they are very equal. They almost cancel each other out. Mm-hmm. I think the deciding factor might go down to the women in this oh, match. Oh, wow. Okay. Very interesting analysis right yeah. there. I'm very curious. Of course, we've seen Divya perform live mm-hmm. um, and she's great. She's smooth. I think she's almost as if like she's like the joker in the Grapple Max card of decks. Like, like to, to me, oh, sorry, deck of cards because yeah. I feel like she's this unknown quantity at first. We heard so much about her and then when she came in the ring, she's like, holy crap. You guys got this talent in mm. your promotion that changes the game for the mm. women's wrestling. You know, she has over three hundred matches on, in Arsenal. Wow, wow. that's wow. wild. Yeah. Uh, so okay, uh, that's this upcoming weekend, of course, November. That's when the anniversary show happens as well. Yeah. And I do believe a little bit later on the show we will talk more about it and get the scoop, as it were. We got some ice cream to serve up, so stick around yeah. with us. Uh, you, you're gonna find out more. We've been told, lah. Uh, we're gonna get some yeah, kind of a scoop told. We've been about told. the anniversary show, where, when, and all that. Yeah. But okay, of course, you know, we, we love having you talking about local wrestling. Mm. But you know, as the objective silverback that you are, I'm pretty sure you still have a lot of time on your hands. You're watching wrestling all around the world, including <laughs> WWE yeah. and AEW. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, I would love to hear your thoughts on you know what's been happening recently. Um, I mean, where do we start? So okay, you know. Right now, let's talk about the biggest, to me, la, the biggest story uh, in WWE is obviously the bloodline yes. right. and how they have, and I've, every week, right, watching the product, it's such a joy mm. to just see lo- loose ends sort of being tied up, tied 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 up, up yeah. brought back. And then just last uh, Saturday, mm. Saturday for us, la, we saw Jay Uso show up on SmackDown yeah. and Jay had the interaction with Roman, okay, how did you guys feel when you watched that segment? I thought this was a really interesting turn of events with mm-hmm. Jey Uso because mm. uh, with everything they've been through, the yep. emotional turmoil as well, right? Yeah. Does he want to get himself back into all this family drama? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this, isn't his life more peaceful yeah, without, without, the, yeah. without the bloodline? Yeah. 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 It would yeah. be an interesting decision for Jey Uso. And, and somebody on you know social media, I saw this line, I thought it was... It, 
super perfectly encapsulates this whole thing, right? Mm. We are currently in the Bloodline season four. Se- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. we are. And true. it's still as hot as it was yeah. in season one. It's even gotten even better, right? Yeah. My favorite whole interaction from SmackDown this past week was Jay Uso steering shit with Jacob Fatu, bro. Yes, that yes. whole yes. thing was like, oh, and then I love that line where he said like, why do you bring them in? Why do you bring Jacob? Remember, we didn't we didn't want him. Yeah, like that kind of just alludes to what this danger that she yes. has. Right? Right. Like yeah. they, as if they already knew about Jacob before, yeah. Yeah. but they didn't want him a part of this. Yeah, and yeah. Which adds dope. a lot of to Jacob's mystique. Yeah. yeah. And how about Roman Reigns giving the respect to Jay's, telling him I'm proud of you mm. because Jay is now the Intercontinental Champion, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, you know, one step in the road to mending fences. Mm. The, we all know the inevitability. Like, they are going to have that moment where they hug it out mm. and then, mm. all right, let's team together, blah, 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 that kind of thing. But the road there... They are making it must-watch television without breaking their backs yeah. every single week, yeah, which right, is yeah. what is great about what they're doing. And, right o- now. and also, he needs to earn that, you know, that redemption back, yeah. right? Because like, I think Jay is perfectly in the right to like, no, I screw you guys, I don't yeah. know yeah, the family. Is, yes. yeah. And like, the Roman and Jimmy humbling him themselves down. That is the story. Is yeah. that, are they gonna do it? Did you see Jimmy try to shake his hand? Yeah. And then yes, he yes, didn't yes. shake it. Then Jimmy like very awkwardly put. It. <laughs> Which it's is like yo, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I love those subtle things, yeah. right? It's yeah. truly the cinema era, yeah. whatever you want to yeah, call yeah. it. And, and do, do you guys like how Roman was saying like, oh man, if this was the wise man was here, this would be settled already. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. So does it allude to Heyman mm-hmm. potentially being part? Of I this? think Heyman has to join the bloodline, right? Because he the is the OG, one. the OG, the OG, OG, OG. Okay. We bloodline. Yeah, the Roman's bloodline. Okay, okay. Because he is the wise man. He is that. That council, mm. that Roman, what is a tribal chief without right. his, his right. wise men? So th- then, what about the Rock? He shows up at the end of Bad Blood, and then no nothing. mention of him yeah. after that. Yeah, like so, where which side is he on? What did he just show up, raise eyebrow, and that's it? There was also that rumor where apparently he might not be at WrestleMania, but of course he quashed yeah. quashed that rumor. Yeah, but yeah, why? Why is this like a play from them? Well, let's let's look at it this way, right? Mm. There's three members. Let's call them the Rogue Bloodline. Three members of the Rogue Bloodline. Well, it's four actually, mm, and yeah. only three members of the original bloodline. Yeah. Mm. If the Rock joins the Rogue bloodline, that's five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how is the original bloodline gonna Sem- survive this? One? Sami Zayn, Sami bro. Sami Zayn and who's yeah. the one more? Gonna fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Wrestles. The wrestling war debut games. of Paul yeah, yeah, in war oh, games. I, I, I mean, it could be Cody Rhodes. They could bring yeah. back another one of the mini Fatus they have. Right. I, I think it'll be Zilla Fatu. I think it'd be really cool for them to debut a new a new guy as like a youth, like a youngster. Right. But also at the same time, like I mean, we brought up Cody Rhodes, right? He's not going to be part of this storyline anymore. I think he's better served doing his own thing. He is doing his own thing with Kevin Owens and Randy. To me, I think he closed the chapter after he. Defeated the bloodline yeah. at yeah, that yeah, blood, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and I think also the Rock, I think it's very intentional that he's not signaling a clear alliance. Yeah. Because the Rock, if you look at what's the most money that we can make from the Rock, yeah. he has two big matches. Yeah. Him and Roman, him and Cody. Correct. Right. Yeah. So it makes sense to not have him align so specifically. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I wonder if this, okay, because we all know Rock is quite the. I hate to use the word politician, he but he is. is la, he he's, let's you know, be honest, right? You know, in that position, I guess you have to be to make yourself the most money and make yourself look the best, right? Doesn't like, work for me, brother. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, is he biding his time and seeing where the wind blows, what the public sentiment is? Because the last time they committed to something, it completely turned on him. I, yeah. I think so. And I think The Rock might... St- he wants to go out the way he was remembered. Yeah. And that is as a highly loved baby face. Yes, mm. yeah. So I think he's, he's kind of seeing where the wind blows. He might, I think he wants to have a face run at the end of it. Yeah. Run. But who would be his opponent then as a face rock? To me, the only way he can be a face, mm. in my opinion, is he puts over someone mm. and then the crowd will give him his flowers after ah. that. Yeah. Mm. So I, I don't know. I think Cody defeating the rock, like, Emphatically, yeah, at WrestleMania, at WrestleMania, and like so, really So he really go on his way out. He puts over yep. Cody Rhodes or maybe Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. That can be an epic story. I think him putting over Roman Reigns wouldn't go down quite as well because then people would say nepotism uh, because they are related after all. Okay, but, you know what I mean. But, but Cody, yes, I see that. Yeah, and I think Cody, yes, he will get you know everyone will cheer him. But then as he leaves, and then the Rock is in the middle of the ring, just sitting there, mm. kind of reflecting on his career. I think the crowd will actually stand up and like yeah, give him his yeah. flowers. I think yeah. John Cena had a similar moment at SummerSlam, I believe. A couple of oh years yeah, ago. yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, and let's not forget in 2025, the Netflix era, John mm. Cena is doing his retirement tour. Yes, yes, so yes. there's more stuff to look forward are we, to. Are we gonna have it thrice in a lifetime, John Cena? <laughs> 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 I don't think the match. 
was gonna be uh, what it was hyped up to be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't it would it would be Rock versus Hogan. I think mm, in terms yeah, of yeah. physicality, I don't know if those two can yeah. go quite as well yeah. anymore. Well, let me yeah. ask you, right? Do huh? you think at this point the way the crowd reacts to both Cena and the Rock? Yeah. The Rock is gonna be the default heel in a yeah, match against Cena. For sure. Like yeah. it's a change. It's, it's, a, it's, it's change. very weird. Do you remember do you remember a time where everybody well, the adults were always booing Cena? Yeah, but I think maybe as you grow older you realize like, you know, the Cena is truly that guy. He's true to himself, he mm. has values, he's great. And the rock has been kind of a bit of a corporate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he's so actually kind of become. Yeah, yeah. it's it's really very weird. interesting. But um, I just want to quickly touch on Netflix for you guys, right? You know, mm. how excited were you guys when you suddenly look at Netflix? <laughs> suddenly it's like Raw, SmackDown, NXT yeah. coming soon, all loaded up. Yeah, I saw their stock actually went up like recently. Not yeah. surprising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, first thing I was like, yes, I can save nine ninety nine a month. Or is it fourteen ninety nine? Yeah, yeah. 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 Remove the WWE network and then just keep your Netflix. So account. all the PLEs will be on the nef- uh, Netflix, right? Yes, yeah. it will. It will. Show is bro as well. But I think we might need to start to invest in TKO stocks before it gets even higher. Yeah, I know, you know right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, those stocks are probably super expensive. Okay, so um, yeah. on the raw side. Okay, so the, the thing is, the big story is yeah. like Raw going to two hours. Mm. A lot of people are saying like, you know, um, is it very rushed right now? Is it very <laughs> hard to tell stories? What do you guys think about like Raw in its new format? No, I think two hours is great. Three yeah. hours is just too long. Do you just remember? Because I grew up in the PG era, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Different guest hosts every week. Wow. Three hours of Raw. Mm, yeah. The Muppets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Hugh, Hugh Jackman knocked out Zach. Like, nonsense yeah. I mean, happened in three hours. Yeah, like, too, much, too much nonsense. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, keep it short. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what about the fact like, you know, to me, my favourite storyline right now in uh, over there is actually Gunther being an amazing heel promo <laughs> like yeah, yeah. being trolling everyone and doing dry his, his dry wit yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. In, it's impressive because uh, when you heard people talk about Walter on the mm. scene oh you gotta check out this Walter guy you gotta check out this Gunther guy right? yeah. nobody ever mentions his promo yeah. yeah but now he's suddenly showing everyone like oh he can mm. cut good promos but still be himself right yeah. you know who else on the indies never cut promos Literally did his entire gimmick in a mask. Semi Z? Yeah, El Generico. Yeah. So and, and yeah. now, now he's like one of the most beloved baby faces. Right, right. He's like one of those guys, right? Doesn't matter how many times he loses, people will still cheer for him. Yeah. And that's why I believe and people say, oh, you know, if uh, what brought me to the dance is my wrestling, mm. I don't need to work on my promos. I don't think so. No. You need to always constantly work on your promos. Speaking of which, okay, so there's a lot of interesting talk about Kevin Owens right now, right? Yeah. And obviously he's in the program, but Thinking long term too, his contract is coming up. Mm. And so the rumor, the scuttlebutt is that, okay, AEW will probably drop big money on him. Mm. Do you think it's better for him to go to AEW and hang out and play with his friends or stay in the WWE? And of course, mm. if we talk about Kevin Owens, we can't not talk about Sami Zayn. They are yeah. like besties, they are package. It's so interesting, but a lot of people are leaning towards that you know, mm. thought process. Maybe he's on his way out going to AEW. Yeah. But I am of the belief, mm. and maybe it's more of hope, but I think it will be so much better for the story if this run leads him to winning the WWE Championship yeah. and kind of upsetting Cody Rhodes and everyone. And I think that will make him the biggest heel mm-hmm. going into 2025. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. What do you think, I think? Well, I think it's very interesting because you said AEW might drop big money on him. No, AEW not might, drop, will. They will. They, they will, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not unthinkable, you know, because... Yeah. It could follow the same path that Christian and Edge took. Yeah. Christian goes, Edge follows. Correct. Owens goes, Zayn follows. Yeah. Mm. And they have friends in AEW. But yeah. Yeah. I think Kevin Owens has always been a very intelligent guy. Yeah. He's calculated and he knows that uh, he's going to have more of a career in the WWE because yeah. just to preserve his own body. Mm. He, is, he is, I think, a touch slower than he was maybe five years ago. Oh, and, yeah, for and sure. And there was the whole storyline where, it's not a story, but there was rumors that he was actually going to sign with AEW. Uh, around the time the Owen Hart tournament oh. start, first started out right. but he actually re-signed and that's why he got that spot at WrestleMania with oh. Stone Cold oh. it's two years ago so I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking like maybe mm. it's like he's kind of dragging it out to see where it goes yeah, yeah. I think it, I think it's entirely possible that we'll see Owens in AEW not now it yeah. might be his okay finish this next lucrative contract with the WWE yeah. mm. I've made my money now I can have fun <laughs> and then yeah. he goes and he goes uh, to AEW could, be a, fun, could well, be a fun thing as well if, if, if AEW is still a thing in 5 years I mean okay okay no because I, I can see in my mind yeah, Owens yeah. retiring in a ring of honor mm, true yeah, I, true. I think he's the, type, he's the type of guy that would want a sentimental, sentimental, sentimental so like a Brian Danielson like yeah yeah, yeah I think yeah, so yeah. okay I mean, we are talking and alluding to AEW a lot. Um, mm. can, can, do you want to kind of switch over? Well, before we switch over to AEW, I, and this kind of slides into the po- political realm of things, but I don't know if you guys saw, because the US elections are coming up yeah, soon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 
of all people, you guys know I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Undertaker and Kane, um, Mark Calloway and Glenn Jacobs, yeah. interviewing Donald Trump. Wait, is Donald Trump on his podcast? Yes, he's going to so be a on guest. Six feet under. Yeah, on yeah, Six Feet Under podcast. That's wild. Um, Three WWE Hall of Famers. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, right. that's a crazy yeah. thing to yeah. say. You know, you know what's the funniest thing? You you want to talk about it and and like that's one big thing that I actually wanted to talk to you about. Mm. But another big thing was it just happened yesterday. Mm-hmm. Pierce Morgan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Interviewing a panel of like wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> and then at the very last second, he introduced like a swerve. He brought Phil Mushnick yeah. into that. So the guy. The journalist, for those who don't know, who uh, tried to sue the WWE several times, right? Uh, did a lot of expose yeah, about like, yeah. the ring boy controversy and all that kind of stuff. So, in a weird way, even though those are two very wild things, mm. but to me, that's like, shit, wrestling is getting Phil's very spotlight. mainstream. Yeah, yeah, I think most people now know Phil Mushnick because of the Mr. McMahon Netflix okay. Actually, documentary. Yeah, right. I've never yeah. heard of him before, yeah. this documentary. Yeah, yeah. And, and the funny thing is, I feel like um, as elections is coming in mm. um, and... The, the Vince McMahon Netflix controversy just dropped and then us leading into this new Netflix era yeah. um, WWE is in the news for both good and bad reasons but it's in the news it's pop culture right yeah. now and, and that's what you want yeah. there's no such thing as bad news lah, as it were right yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah okay did you ever see Undertaker as a Trump supporter actually I do you you know because he was the he's I've a seen him Texan, Texan. Uh, yeah it's Texan yeah. He's, uh, uh, he loves his guns uh-huh, loves uh-huh. His gun. freedom oh, he's, right, he right. loves supporting the okay. um, uh, you know the US army yeah, yeah, sure. actually he's always gave me bro he's walked out to Kid Rock bro. oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. that's uh, about he's, as he's, uh, a, he's an old Republican. white guy from the south yeah, yeah like, what as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. and then on the other side I don't know if you guys saw right mm. it all makes sense Blue Tista now makes sense Oh yeah, Batista is uh, he he's supporting Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. did like a pro. I think it's a skit. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's with uh, Jimmy Fallon or like oh, Jimmy Kimmel. One of the yeah. Jimmy's. Yeah, one yeah, of the yeah, Jimmy's. Yeah, yeah. yeah, basically it's like a like a campaign campaign video, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's him boxing. Promo, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's boxing. He's talking shit about Trump. yeah Trump. And then now, all of a sudden, the blue Tista era makes sense, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love it, bro. I love it because I think, and you look at the comments, which mm. is wild. Yeah. You will see people shitting on uh, uh, Batista, people loving Batista. And yeah. on the other side, people is like, Anatika, I used to love you. Why the fuck? Yeah, what happened oh, to you? Why you doing this? Thing about, oh, I can't believe XYZ follows ABC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my life yeah. is ruined. I don't know. I think it's wild because like like when you see all the, 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 the discussion, especially on Twitter. And mm. I know for some reason, Twitter is not that big in in Singapore yeah. I, in my opinion like like Twitter's really wild in you know the US right and like bro we are, we are about the TikTok life la. yeah we are TikTok we are yeah. Instagram no attention span yeah. yeah we are we are you know kick to the guy uh, ain't nobody yeah. want to read a 240 character diatribe f- from some random willing to hear a two hour podcast with Kit Tragat yeah, I mean yeah, that's, yeah, say, say, say that, but I guess I wanted to wrap up by saying that like we have people like Elon Musk who's kind of like pushing narratives mm. right and I'm so curious how um, they talk about their Pro wrestling vacation of politics. Yeah. I think that's one big term that they brought yeah. up in the documentary on Vince McMahon. And I feel like the 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 thing that that is in line between politics and wrestling is that there's that showmanship. Mm. That there's that need to connect your audience, knowing your fan base, yeah. trying to win over a crowd. Like yeah. all those things. Actually, I think politicians need to go to wrestling school. As I'm trying to say, it's you know what it is. I I wouldn't even. I I think it's a cute way of describing it. But yeah. it is the carnization mm. of. Ooh, carny. of yeah. All, all this stuff. You right. know, like, American culture, American entertainment has always been about big right. um, personalities or as opposed plastic, to, like, yeah. yeah, just being out there. So, to me, it's pro wrestling went that route because this, it, it WWE is an American company right, at right, the end right. of the day, yeah. right? It's yeah. a carny thing. You, yeah. you, you, you can't, like... It fits their mm. target demographic, yeah, their audience. Their right? audience, yeah. yeah. And if I had to bring it back to something that you mentioned earlier, right, about, mm. I think, El Generico and Gunther, their promo skills. Mm. Yes, your wrestling might take you to the big leagues, mm-hmm. but what will help you stay there is your connection with the crowd. Yep. Yep. And I think the politicians are learning that because mm. regardless of what their policies are, right, nobody has time to re- read up all the policies. Well, <laughs> no, yeah. but, exactly. but what keeps you in the media spotlight mm-hmm. is your connection with your fan base yep. and how much... Uh, online traffic you can generate. Correct. Attention it, is the currency yeah. in 2024. Is, is that the perfect segue then to AEW? Oh, God. <laughs> because you talk about how wrestling can take you oh. this level, oh. but you know you need the connection with the audience, right? Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, there, there's, I, You make it sound like AEW have uh, an entire roster of amazing wrestlers who aren't doing stupid bullshit, but they just don't have the charisma. And that is not true. Mm-hmm. They're doing everything wrong. 
at yeah, this point. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm curious to hear Prabhu's point of view because, like, what, what's your thoughts on AEW right now? Right. So this is actually a take that I had from mm. a friend of mine. Oh. And he actually brought up an interesting point. Okay, okay. AEW, it seems like there's no logic to the way they do things. They're yeah. just throwing things out of the wall. Yeah. Mm. This is what WWE did in the early Attitude Era. Yeah. Because their back is against the wall. Mm-hmm. So just throw things out, see, see what, what works. works. Yeah. See what works, yeah. So it is, as a fan to watch it, not my favourite thing to watch. Mm. But I, I understand the, yeah. the rationale behind why they do it. And also, who grew up in the era, watching the yeah, Attitude Era? That's true, that's true. The hate worker, aka Tony Khan. He's a yeah. mark. ECW guy, WCW guy. Yeah. He's, he's been very honest about it and very open about it. Um, let's talk about AW's biggest storyline right now, oh. right? Because we're coming out of Wrestle Dream, the new world champion is John Moxley. Did you even watch this week's Dynamite? By the way, I did not. I've given up already. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm purely a social media viewer ah, yeah. of, okay. of Dynamite, right? Okay. Uh, but yeah, y- your thoughts on John Moxley and this whole story that you're trying to tell? I think they are high on John Moxley. They've always been high on John Moxley. <laughs> they are high on something. They are high. They are high on something. That's what they am sure. And I, uh, I can see the appeal. You know, John Moxley. Yeah, yeah. He has name recognition. Yeah. He's the guy that you would want to. He's gotten Jack. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's big. He's to big. be fair, yeah, he put on size. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't exactly understand what direction John Moxley is going in. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he understands it <laughs> either, but yeah, you know. But yeah. he, I think he's, I personally, I feel John Moxley is getting a bit too smart for what his strengths are. Uh, you know, he's, yeah. he's trying to come up with, a, I think, a very deep character. Yeah. Mm. But I think just this barroom brawler is really what suits him best. Mm. Yeah. And how do you think of the whole treatment of Brian Danielson, you know, how he lost his title, supposedly going to retirement now? Um... I think it was too soon. Yeah, it seems it was too soon. Yeah, he soon. could have Brian Danielson could have had a couple more great matches. Brian Danielson and Osprey, have we seen that? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But see, going back to what I said last week, I don't think this is it. Mm. They are just they don't have the uh, long game, right? They're like, yeah. okay, we let you retire now, but you come back in a year's time because nobody ever retires. Yeah, them. exactly, yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. that is the long game for them, but they don't know how to craft that story. Out. I I see the news report as well uh, talking about. You know, apparently Brian Dennis had actually injured him, his multiple neck times. even further. Yeah. And like, by some reason, he's being cleared to wrestle in AEW. So well, that's why WWE didn't want him to hurt himself, yeah. right? They, yeah. they were trying to save him from his worst tendencies. He's that promo that the Miz cut, you know? Why don't yeah. you go back to the in- bingo halls with your indie friends? Yeah. He's been at the... Bi- I mean, I wouldn't say bingo halls, but he is... Uh, God, bingy, but bingy. Bingo hall vibes, though, <laughs> yeah, with their is. attendance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's with his indie friends and uh, he's no one there to stop him from his worst tendencies. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, okay, I, I want to talk about something positive about AEW. Uh, to me, my favourite thing about AEW right now, Hurt Syndicate. Okay, Hurt yes. Syndicate. Because, yes. because, you know what's so funny? Because, actually, I think, was it this week or last week? It's mm. Dynamite where Shelton Benjamin had a match. Yeah. And I laugh my ass off. You know why? Why? He looks like a... Freaking big ass, he like, looks like Bobby Lashley. he looks like Bobby Lashley like in Bobby the Lashley. roster. Yeah. Who did he fight? Uh? Um, Leo Rush. Oh, Leo, oh, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. So he destroyed Leo Rush. Uh. Leo Rush. Yeah. But I think what one thing that they've been doing is they are kind of like on a very subtle recruitment drive. Okay. Trying to recruit all the black wrestlers <laughs> because after Leo Rush kind of kind of destroyed, they yeah. gave him a name card. Oh. And then I think they previously walked past Mercedes Monet, yeah. gave her a name card. And then I think private party after they kind of right, also right, embarrassed right. Name, card. name card. So I do not know what's happening. Is that like a new world order black edition happening there? Uh, nation. Nation of domination. Nation of- well, I mean, remember we postulated that it could be a nation versus the white white heads white, 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 white skin uh, white pool uh, combat club white pool, white pool com- combat, combat club, club yeah. Yeah. you know the herd business herd syndicate has always been an African American yeah, uh, yeah. group but yeah. without overtly saying it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's nothing, and I think that's great because it's more representation. S- somebody gave another crazy uh, analogy which I thought was hilarious. Mm. Mm. They compared MVP and Shelton Benjamin's appearance as like the silver surfer huh? heralding as heralding, heralding, the, uh, heralding, arrival heralding of, the arrival of the real Galactus. Yeah. Okay, but here's my uh, yeah. big worry about Bobby Lashley mm-hmm. because I know how AEW books. Mm. Bobby Lashley is going to come in and within a few weeks, he's going to have 30-minute bangers. bangers bangers with like um, hologram or uh, some bullshit like that. Are you excited to see Bobby Lashley sell a Canadian destroyer? No, I can't like, like, imagine. Right. If somebody tries to do that and jump on him, he should just grab them and throw them yeah, over exactly. the top rope. No, that's, that's what so, needs to happen. So that's what I want to happen. Yeah. I really hope 
I don't that's know. That's no all this bullshit. Yeah, like, like I, I want like the young bots to jump and try to do a Meltzer driver, TK driver, and then like, <laughs> but really he just stands there. Like, what are you doing? And then he just swats <laughs> them away, like like Galactus would to right, like right. you know, yeah. like fighter jet. Ah, swipe it away. Swipe well, it that's away. the thing, right? AEW has a lot of veterans yeah. that know how to get over best for themselves. Yes. But will the rest of the roster cooperate? Because in Lashley, right, they mm. really have a lot of money in Lashley. Yeah. yeah, Lashley can be their big bad. He's a they are Brock. Yeah, he's an yeah. NCAA. He's a Bellator fighter. Mm. Yeah, he's legit. Former WWE World Heavyweight yeah. Champion, and yeah. he looks like a world yeah. destroyer. Yeah. And now he has MVP to his to right. be his mouthpiece. And, and but yeah. Where are they going to go with this? Have right. they lined up people for him to smack? To, to, I, I don't have to, to me, Lashley is the, the big draw, right? Mm. But don't sleep on Shelton Benjamin. Oh, I, think, yeah. I think Shelton Benjamin in this current iteration mm. with his size and yep. he's legit, right? Proper amateur wrestler. He can teach a thing or two in terms of oh, how to yeah. destroy the AW yeah. roster, right? Um, I just hope that the current roster there will listen to them. Maybe they okay. Maybe they will be smarter at playing the political, the locker room game mm. than CM Punk was. Maybe. CM Punk notoriously is like, okay, you don't listen to me, like, ah, you don't know what you're yeah. doing. Lah. Do you hear also there was this rumour? Uh. Remember MVP apparently got beef with Chris Jericho? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently for MVP to go into AEW, I think they actually had like a one-on-one uh, like catch-up and they actually oh. squashed that beef. Okay. Because Chris Jericho knows he doesn't want none from MVP. MVP, MVP, yeah, yeah. MVP is, a, is a martial arts background. Yeah, MVP is also like a... a pro- Jiu-Jitsu guy, right? Pro- yeah, yeah. Pro- pro- Jericho is a vodka guy. Yeah. <laughs> also, also, also previous ex-convict as well. So he actually legit oh, street fighter. Oh. Yeah, he was in prison as oh, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, very interesting his story if you learn about him. But mm. what I'm trying to say is I think having that next level of professionalism yeah. and I think the reason why is all these previous guys who went into AW are generally nice guys. Like you, You're talking about like people like Edge or Adam yeah. Copeland and Brian Danielson. People respect them, but they wouldn't impose themselves. I think the, the last person that really right. imposed for their own CM. Goal, you mean? was CM Punk. Mm. The, 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 the last person who like really like, hey guys, come here. Okay, let's make this thing more professional setup. Mm. It was CM Punk. Even I would even argue Chris Jericho didn't do that. No. Chris Jericho was a political yeah. game, tried to just stay close to the boss. Yeah, mm. yeah. But I think somebody like MVP, Shelton, and Leslie would be like, okay, this is the big boys. Yeah. Come, you all better level up to us. Do you think that they will? So what you're saying is they will have a more. Um, controlling impact over the AEW locker room than CM Punk because CM Punk is one guy whereas this is three like legit guys. I think people in the locker room will be very intimidated by them okay. and rightly so but, and wouldn't want to stir shit. But then, I mean, then you have the Young Bucks going to the AEW. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, and the whisper right, campaign. You're gonna take the Meltzer driver. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah. But do you think MVP will let it? I think MVP will call them out on their bullshit even worse than CM Punk. Y- Okay, so maybe, if anything, that is what we look forward to in the next couple of well, months. Well, I think we have to take into consideration mm. the fact that MV, the entire Hurt Syndicate, right? Mm. Mm. They are not poor. They, okay, they, yeah. they got money in the bank. Sure, they sure. can retire. Yeah. yeah. So they have no incentive to like, job, you know. Um, I, I, but you know but I, would, I mean? yeah, I would hate for this to become suddenly, you got the MVP universe here. You got the mm. Young Bucks mm. and the their universe. universe. The Codiverse. So, you know, yeah, yeah. it's happened so many times the AEW. CM Punk has his own little universe over yeah, there. I hope that's not the case as well. But I also feel like, best case scenario, mm. like I'm trying to be optimistic here, this can be the Hurt business run that we really wanted in yeah. WWE. Right, right, right. Yeah. They didn't have a it chance to do so. It could be big money. It could be. And that happened during the pandemic, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So imagine with the crowds, mm. with them. And I honestly, I don't mind Lashley being the big bad. Yeah. Line, line him up against somebody like uh, Will Ospreay. Mm. Even Darby Allen with his nonsense, right? Mm. I think will look like a great like Jeff Hardy, you know, baby face against somebody like Lashley. Bro, imagine now, uh, okay, once uh, Darby and Mox, they, obviously they are headed for each other, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Once Darby gets the title, Mm. and then Darby versus uh, Bobby Ooh. and then you have Shelton going after like the international yeah. you have whoever like Leo Rush or one of the other guys go after the continental yeah. and then they just take all the titles I, what are your thoughts on yeah. Swerve joining the Hurt Syndicate honestly I would rather that happen yeah I don't mind Swerve yeah. joining, but eventually becoming the baby face to take them down. Yeah. Like, like so he comes, he's like the Jey Uso situation. Like he yeah, comes yeah. in, mm. he falls in line with Bobby Lashley. And you know where I think it would be the best time to introduce Bobby Lashley or him, help, uh, have him win the title? Mm. World's End. Because it's really mm. like Avengers Endgame there. Yeah. You know, like, Thanos shows up. He shows up he's at the Thanos, end of the year, yeah. destroys the last image of 2025 with him holding out the title. I right. think that would be pretty crazy. But how would you set up a scenario where he just shows up for a pay-per-view and gets a title shot? Well, then again, Tony Khan, anything can happen. I mean, Darby Allen randomly just call up Brody King and they had a match. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. I, I would say, yeah, Darby Allen and Moxley as the 
the the, the title match at full gear would mm. be great. It would be a great payoff if the plan is to make Mox a transitional champion. I do not know. Will I, Mox go with it? I yeah. feel like the thing is, okay, if Mox were to go with it, and they still want to continue that storyline of like who are they reporting towards, mm. I do hope that Shane McMahon payoff is happening. I do not know. But if that's not the case, uh, maybe Moxley still continues. Then I have I have never ever not wanted Shane McMahon to show up so badly. Like legit, you know. Like yeah. a part of me is like, why he doesn't need the money? No, he doesn't. It's an ego thing. If it's a prove my dad wrong thing, yeah, I think, maybe. I but think it really is though. <sighs> but when I okay, when I watch the Netflix documentary, I really feel the yeah. hurt that he felt in how he's being treated. He's technically on the outside looking in yeah. WWE. I, he might want a chance to prove himself he can run a wrestling company and AEW is the way to go for maybe him, him and can you imagine Shane McMahon meets Darby Allin and oh. they let their worst instincts take over oh, and, and Tony Khan because yeah. everybody friend friend because Shane McMahon ho- has always been described as the nice guy yeah. as well too nice for his own good and yeah. Shane McMahon the guy that will jump off anything yeah so oh, shit, him man. and Darby Allin is going to be the first match that ever starts on the ladder <laughs> and then Tony Khan is like signing out yes, yes go yes, do yes, do yes. anything you want you do you want to know a crazy comparison between Shane and TK what so I heard that um, the the company, the holding company that owns AEW, mm. the the father doesn't own that holding company. He actually put that holding company under the name of him, Tony, and, Tony and sister, right? And his sister, yes, right? Yes. So apparently, a lot of people are saying that actually, TK and the sister, their relationship is like Shane and Stephanie, oh. where the the father actually favors the sister a lot, and. Tony is like, look at me, look at me, I want to run this company. Like he's trying to prove himself. So when is this sister going to come on as a uh, authority figure? <laughs> uh, the oh Shahid my... can't come out really. Oh my so god. Should, yeah, should be the sister. That would be quite funny. Oh, cannot, so yeah. then we need a storyline where one of the AEW wrestlers gets married to his sister actually. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> which I remember what they said. And that's how we can bring in Bobby Lashley. Remember oh my god, rem- Bobby is the... Remember CM Punk's promo? Yeah. The only way you can get over in his company is Mary, if you marry the, the daughter, which is, daughter. he said to MJF. Yeah. Right? So I, I'm, I'm just saying there's a lot of things that is very interesting in the background. Yeah. If they manage to bring it to the forefront on television, we might actually come back to watch the show. Yeah, but you see, uh, going back to this whole thing of they always cater to like the very indie, very in-the-know fans. Mm. And that's why their viewership is so low because they hyper-focus uh, on that demographic. Yeah. Most people, most average audience will not know this stuff. And yeah. if you don't explain any of this backstory then you are not going to catch the numbers, right? Agreed. And that is the game at the end of the yeah. day. Like, we talked about it last week. Him getting a renewal is actually a very bad thing for him because now he's like, oh, see, what I've been doing works. And so in the next few years, is he going to... Like, what is going to make him suddenly change his mind? Agreed. Now that he has the money, I don't think he's going to bother changing. He's like, hey, it works, what? Yeah. So, uh, okay, in terms of the silver lining for you, silverback, uh, mm. <laughs> who do you think or who would you put your money on to be the wrestler or to be the story? that kind of takes AEW out of this current slump? Ooh, I think it has to be the Hurt Syndicate, Hurt yeah. Business. And another one of their own homegrown talents that they've really gotten over with the fans is Swerve. Mm. So I think yeah. Swerve, and like you said, the Hurt Syndicate, going around recruiting black wrestlers. Yeah. There's a guy in Grapple Max called Julian, give him a call. <laughs> but mm. Swerve needs a tech partner, you know. Uh, but okay. uh, yeah, I think them recruiting all the black wrestlers, even Mercedes Monet, and I don't mind that yet. And mm. here's a thought. Mm. What if Shelton became the world champion? Oh. I don't mind that okay, as well. Yeah. I think he's well deserved. Yeah. Yeah, he could have a run. He yeah. Shelton and Moxley, Shelton and Shelton can work well with a lot of their talents. Yeah. yeah. He's Shelton athletic. can do the athletic stuff, yeah. but he's a grounded wrestler, amateur yeah. wrestler. So, so I think he's the Shelton best. Shelton and Osprey. Shelton and Osprey would be that, yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be crazy. Um, do, do you find it hilarious that like Shelton looks normal size in WWE in among that roster. Yeah, yeah but yeah. jacked. He there. looks like a monster there. And there was a time where Shelton was like, oh, cruiserweight looking yeah, yeah. guy in WWE. Yeah. And him then, and Charlie Haas, that yeah, era, yeah, yeah. right? And then, yeah. It's not that he got bigger. The roster around him got shrank. <laughs> got shrank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the roster law of averages, law of averages. Yeah. But yeah, so I think, okay, now, now that AW is going out of Wrestle Dream, going into uh, full gear, mm. um, let, let, let's just kind of pivot back to WWE to kind of like wrap things up. Crown Jewel. Mm. Crown Jewel is happening in a couple of weeks. Um, they debuted that very oversized XXL title belt. Yeah, yeah. Gaudy. I mean, um, very... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just... Blinged up. Just crazy. It's like, it, it fits well with the Saudi Arabians, right? But what do you think of this whole thing that they're trying to do now where it's like mm. champion versus champion, Cody and Gunther. Will it take away if one of the champions is lose? And who do you think should win that match? 
That's a very difficult... This is a, I think, a situation where I really feel sympathy for the writers. Mm. Mm. Because... No, don't feel that much sympathy. They're probably getting paid a that's shit true, true, ton true. of money. More, more than us, more Bro, than us, $50 yeah. million, dollars, yeah, you do that's whatever. True. All yeah, our champions true, fight each other, true. don't care. But the thing is, right, like, they probably yeah. have this era of WWE. Yeah. In the Vex of WWE mm. has a lot of long-term plans. Yeah. Mm. But somewhere along those long-term plans, we need to accommodate the Saudis to yeah. get our paycheck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I think this match actually does throw a wrench in yep. whatever they have planned long term. So how can they turn that to their advantage? Yeah, I f- see it as an opportunity. I yeah. feel like, okay, Same. if I'm a long-term guy, now I got this Saudi thing, roadblock. Mm. How can I still tell the stories that I want to tell but with this roadblock? Yeah, right. Because yeah. I think the one thing that they cannot do mm. is have it end in a Please. small Spanish Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, jungle lower attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you talk about Cody versus Gunther, right? I mean, not say it's obvious, but have Kevin Owens cost... Cody, like you know, yeah, but I think Cody doesn't need the win. Yeah, he's already that hit the guy already, and you need to establish Gunther even yeah, more. Yeah. I feel, and a lot of people keep thinking like, oh, they can't lose because they can lose their aura, right? But people are forgetting both wrestlers have lost this year. Yeah, yeah. Cody actually, okay, I know a lot of people suddenly have forgotten about Money the Bank, mm-hmm. but actually the Bloodline, the new Bloodline, beat Cody and yes. his gang, KO and Randy Orton, Randy, yeah. and Solo pin him. Yeah. So even though he was a champion, Solo got that win. That's mm. what led Solo to challenging Cody for the SummerSlam uh, main event. So I do not see an issue with Cody losing. Yeah, Cody will put over Gunther. I th- I have to agree with you, and yeah. I think if anything, losing actually helps Cody because his mm. character is one that can afford to lose, can gain sympathy. Yeah, yeah. Because if Cody goes on like, I mean, it's what Dusty Rhodes always would do. Dusty Rhodes would always lose the belt. Just before the big paper view. Yeah. yeah. Do so, get it back. Yeah. At, yeah. Cody is a sympathetic guy. Yeah. Gunther, <laughs> sure. no, he had, Gunther has to be dominant. Yeah, has to be that. Yeah. 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 If Cody loses, right, and then he will come into Survivor Series weakened mm. with like a bit of lo- loss of credibility, mm. right? I think that's a perfect time to kind of like have, you know, like the whole KO taking mm. advantage of him, yeah. you know, Randy Orton. I think I think it'll be interesting. And of course, they already announced on SmackDown, Randy versus KO is happening at Crown Jewel as yeah. well. Um, I'm very curious to see how that leads into the main event. Mm. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Randy Orton turning on Cody? I think if they tell it right, yep. that can be Cody's main event at WrestleMania. Mm. It can oh. be their night, his night one. If they tell it right. When I say tell it right, it means they really need to reference their legacy, yep. um, their, their history as a, a team, mentor, student. Like they have to tell that whole story really, really well. Mm. And they need to make Randy that 2009 bad badass the you know. pun kick uh, guy yeah, again, yeah, uh, bring it back do you know what they might do to build Randy Orton up again as a vicious heel what oh, John Cena has a retirement tour oh Ooh. but but if you cut that on the feet early on in the year to yeah. lead into WrestleMania then like you lose a lot of um, Cena's uh, yeah. potential what do you think? I mean it could be Cena Orton before WrestleMania and then uh, because Cena Orton beats Cena, Cena Orton goes over to face Cody at Mania. Maybe, right. maybe yeah. it can be a Cena versus Orton winner challenges for the world title. Yeah, could yeah, be. Yeah. Because because Cena well, didn't say that Randy he wants to. How many? Four fifteen is it? Or because 14? uh no Cena okay so Cena said right that he will be his last time in the Royal Rumble match, mm. last time in Elimination Chamber. Yeah. So maybe he will do all those like road to WrestleMania storyline. Yeah. He will try to be at the final four. Mm. That could be a very interesting way of like him versus Randy. I think, yeah, I, I, I see that. I see that. Um, but my question is like, what was your question on, on how old is it? Was it how many world titles does Cena have? Are oh. they both in competition with Tyreek Flair? Uh, yeah. So Cena, Cena has is sixteen. Uh, Randy is below Triple H, I think. Mm. At thirteen or something. So Randy's not there yet. He's yeah. not in that contention. He needs a few uh, more, a yeah. few more to get there. Do you think Cena should eclipse uh, Ric Flair? I think if they are smart, they should. Yeah. Just for the PR of it, yeah. like if you want to take uh, the most world title wins, is like Ric Flair and his current is it, reputation. It, yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. sus. And Rick John Cena has always been the company guy. Yeah, Ric so. Flair will go ballistic yeah. on social media. Uh, but what's he gonna do? Bro? No, but Rick, yeah. Rick, have you heard that Ric Flair claims that he's actually won more than seventeen? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Said, like small shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Small like shows. one night. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, these numbers are just you yeah, know yeah, whatever yeah, lah. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, no, I think it makes a lot of sense for them to give it to Cena. I mean, he can be a tra- transitional champion, right? He yeah, can be that guy yeah, that dethrones sure. whoever. For sure, for sure. So yeah, so I think in this November, there's a mm. lot of fun and interesting things happening in the wrestling world. WWE, AEW here as well locally. Yeah, Max, yeah, SPW as well. 
So, um, yeah, so let's talk about Amplify and uh, put it over to our next guest. So we call this a Jordan sandwich. Ooh. I know a lot, a lot of fans are going, ooh, Jordan sandwich, I like. But here, of course, we are live at the Grapple Max Pro Wrestling Studio, as you can see, and we are with none other than Jordan. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, welcome to the show again, of course. When was the last time we had you on the show? Huh? My goodness, it's been a while, like two years. Two years? Yeah, yes. it's been two years. I, I remember that whole era. It was a, ah. a bit of a... Remember we were trying to call you, make you like an oppa? Yeah. I feel like you're trying to push a label <laughs> off. And I don't appreciate that, but thank you for, you know, not continuing on with that label. <sighs> no, but it's, but I feel like because you have evolved beyond that. Mm, yes, com- yes. Since the last time you were on the show, your character has completely died at 180. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. And, and of course, the fact that now you're back after a long hiatus, like, yeah. like first of all, like, how, how, how are you feeling? Like, physically, Physically, emotionally, mentally. You know, it's been two years and like for some people, like for me, for example, I age gracefully. I'm not going to talk about the other person. But yes, for some people, we do age gracefully. And I think in those two years, I have evolved quite a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, I will assume that the person you not so subtly referred to is uh, an opponent that is coming up very soon. Uh, a certain fellow by the name of Joseph, who, you know, yes, he's um, part of that whole uh, with, with D, you know, he's got the whole gimmick. Uh, not that, that what, what His... the midlife crisis? No, wait, hang on. That's not their right name. <laughs> no, no, no. no. no, 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 no. I would call it midlife crisis if I was, you know, their manager. Right. That's what I would call them. Oh. But, you know. <laughs> They, they decide to go with another route. Yeah, yeah. Mid goals. Mid like goals. Mid like goals. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I like mm. the prefer mid like crisis. <laughs> but, <laughs> basket. Um, mm. Okay, but I think a lot of the fans are curious to know, like, mm. where have you been? You know? Because the last time we saw you, you were cruiserweight, uh, cruiser, open weight champion. Open right? weight champion. Oh, uh, yes. yeah. Um, I would love to be open weight champion. Oh. But just to correct you that my my championship was the Wrestle Square yeah, sorry. Cruiserweight Championship. Wrestle Square ah, yes. Cruiserweight mm. Champion. Correct. And um you had that match with Dick uh, Togo, mm. which, which was... I which I beat, which mm-hmm. I beat him one on one. Yes, I just yes. like to clarify. Yes, sure. that's amazing. Yes. By the way, okay, exactly. Yeah, but beat a Japanese legend. Yeah. By the way, yeah. How have you recovered from that? Is that why it took you that this <laughs> long to come back? Because, dude, some of the stuff that he was throwing at you. Oh dear God, bro! I I felt it. Look, there are some moves that physically it looks like it's very damaging, mm-hmm. and it does. But spiritually, oh. it does something to you. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a legend like Dick Togo, he doesn't just punch you, he just punches straight. Uh, uh, he I punches see. you in the soul. Yes, exactly. Uh. And it affected me quite a lot, you know. Okay. But you know what? I still ended up beating him one-on-one. Mm-hmm. I still ended up being champion. I still went on to defend my championship. So you needed to do like a eat, pray, love after that. Like, eat, pray, love. Like eat, pray, love. Of like going to Bali, <laughs> rehab the soul. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, you know, like um, these kinds of things, you have to take sort of a break, right? Mm. Um, I didn't take a break. Mm. I'm a, I am a fighting champion. I still am, even though I'm not champion anymore. Okay. But I'm still always fighting. Uh, right after that Dick t- t- Togo match, I went on to um, Bangkok, actually. Oh. I went on to wrestle for a setup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a, um, I believe it was collaboration between Wrestle Square mm-hmm. and some other promotions as well. So I was also invited to defend my Wrestle Square Cruiserweight Championship mm-hmm. against three other people. Yeah, two wrestlers from Wrestle Square and also Dennis was also part of it, ah, that match as well. Awesome. Crypto Bro. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Uh, fatal four way. A fatal four way. Nice. Was that officially like your last match before you went on hiatus? Um, it was my second last match. Oh. So after that match in which I unfortunately dropped my title, uh, I went on to wrestle for another open house show for Grapple Max, mm-hmm. and that's when I had to take a break. Yeah, because I remember, um, I think before you went on your break, you were kind of teasing some sort of rivalry with Ban, mm-hmm. if you guys recall, you and Ban Sacha, but clearly the tables have turned because that nice, happy, happy, go lucky Ban doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to him. Honestly, like, I mean, I, I'm still aware of like, you know, what's going on yeah. with the general like feeling in Grapple Max, yeah. but I haven't been following it up that much. Mm-hmm. So I think Ban right now is Bad right now, apparently. He, he, bad bun? He, he's broken been bun? Taking broken bat. <laughs> broken bat. Broken bat. Yeah, broken bat. Yeah, he's broken taking bat. some lessons from Dave. You know, uh, Dave can be quite the influence. Yeah. So, looking at his demeanor now, do you mm. sort of go, actually, now I respect him a little bit more? Because, you know, you've taken a little bit of that, I don't want to say trip to the dark side, but, you know, you've mm. sort of shown a more ruthless 
side of yourself as well. So looking at Ban, do you see like, hey, this guy finally stepping it up? You know, I'm glad that he's finally reaching to a realization mm -hmm. that I came across a long, long time ago. Mm -hmm. It took him a while, but I'm glad to see that, he, you know, he's finally getting a bit more ruthless, mm -hmm. finally getting the right lessons right. implanted into his brain. You know, so he's finally catching up. I would say he's still very far away from where I am right now. Of course. But yeah. he's taking the right steps. Do you think who has the better uh, friendship mending uh, journey? Like you guys or like, I don't know, like Roxanne Perez and Koraji? Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't go that big, far. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that's a friendship brewing right now. Uh, I just, okay. I'm just saying that I'm starting to give him a little bit more respect. Okay, okay. Just a little bit. You okay, know? okay, okay. Question for you, right? Like in the time you've been away and uh, we are looking at maybe eight months. I think mm. probably February was when you took a break, right? Mm. In that time, you know, the, the landscape of Global Max has changed so much. So we have, much. We've so seen much. dual destinies where a tag team championship mm. tournament has started out. Yeah. We've seen, uh, you know, like all this star that has come through. Uh, what was your biggest FOMO moment while you were out that you saw? Oh, uh, there was days? so much. There was so much. I mean, for some, I mean, within the wrestling industry, eight months is such a long yep. time, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Champions come and go. I mean, mm. even outside of the Southeast Asian wrestling sphere, yeah. a lot has happened in North America, in Japan, yeah. those kinds of things. Agreed, agreed. Yeah, so for Grapple Max specifically, um, you know, I try to live life without regrets, yeah. mm. but I think I would have loved to. I don't know if I would have found anyone, but I would have loved to also participate mm. for the tag team titles as well. Right. Yeah. Mm. So talk to us about those eight months. Like what, what happened? Like I see you for so far. I don't know how, but he's gotten more, you know, more opa, even though that's not what he's going for. But you've gotten, mm. you know, bulked up a little bit. Thank on you, that Randy you. Orton um, <laughs> vibe, right? I've yeah, been yeah. eating. Yes. Okay. <laughs> As, as he has said, I have been eating. Right, yes. okay. Right. So, um, yeah, uh, during those eight months, it was really all about a journey of, you know, recovery. Mm. Um, quite honestly, like, I was uh, working, you know, hurt. Oh, yeah. For right. the past few months while nice. holding the title. It's a very strenuous sport, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's the kind of thing where you can't even take a break, even oh. if you want to, because, you know, as a champion, you yes. always have to fight. If you're a self-respecting champion, yeah. you always want to fight through the pain. Mm -hmm. So after I lost the belt, I realized that, you know, if I want to be an even better champion, if I want to be an even better version of myself, I have mm -hmm. to realize that I got to take that break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think a lot of wrestlers don't realize that they just, you know, just keep going until the wheels fall off, that yeah. kind of thing. I'm a bit smarter than that. <laughs> you know, study a bit of sports science. Yeah. Yeah, you got to realize that the human body can only take so much. Mm. Mm. So without giving away too much, right? Like in those eight months, what are the new skills that you've picked up or what have you been mm. working on? Mm. So it's more about um, just getting my body, uh, the joints and everything, mm. just more strengthened up. Mm. So like... You know, still going to the gym, still improving myself in that regard. But I'm also picking up a few more gymnastic-specific things like, you know, round offs, you know, okay. maybe a bit of springboard action, oh. those kinds of things. I don't want to give off too much yeah. of my arsenal right sure. now, you know. But it's always a journey of self-improvement. Mm. I'm always looking for new skills to kick my bloody opponent's head off, that <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's always about that. Yeah. Mm. One thing I love about your wrestling style is you you work really stiff. I mean, with all due mm. respect, like with all due respect, like your knee strikes, they really make me like squeal, yeah. you know, internally and like. I hope so, yeah. Yeah, and, so. and like you know, do you miss that kind of I would say violence, you know, in the eight months, like delivering <laughs> all these kind of strikes to people, getting that wrestling bug again? You know, like um. I wouldn't say I'm a very necessarily bloodthirsty person, mm, right? Okay. It's just happened to be like, my strikes are vicious. My strikes are always solid. It's because I know what I'm doing mm. in the ring. I would say, I am, I am, I truly am the best striker in all of Southeast Asia. Mm. And anyone there that wants go. to challenge me on that, you know, feel free to. I'm not expecting anyone to be able to match Ooh. up to mm. my striking prowess, but that's who I am. There's the headline. That's just how yeah, I am. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, not to bring it back to uh, Togo-san again, but you know, <laughs> did, did you take away anything from that particular encounter with him? Because, you know, mm. we talked about his strikes during those, uh, during that I match. I still remember right? it, yeah. Yeah, you, you still feel it. So now, is it a thing of, all right, 
I've taken it, now I want to inflict it on my opponents. You know, it's like what I said earlier, right? Mm. It's not just the physical damage that I inflicted onto me. It's also that the mental, that spiritual, yeah. you know, <laughs> that whenever he strikes, you really do feel it in your soul, right? Yeah. I mean, the first thing that he, when we lock up, he kicked, the, uh, I kicked at his hand and he mm -hmm. just threw me out of the ring. Mm. The first thing he freaking did was pick up a chair and try to uh, yeah. kick my head along yeah. with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I so that. it was like, you know, that kind of realization, I just realized like, hey, Maybe I should be a bit more vicious, you know? Uh -huh. Maybe I should be, you know, just as rough as Dick Togo was with yeah. me. So a more vicious Jordan, mm -hmm. a more athletic okay. Jordan. For sure. Mm. It's going to be exciting, man. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so now the fact that, you know, you yep. really have that victory over Dick Togo, a Japanese legend under your belt, right? Exactly, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. I mean, that means your next opponent should be like a piece of cake, right? <laughs> you know, when I came back after eight months, I was expecting just a little bit more respect. Okay. Yeah, right? Uh -huh. I thought I was going to be booked, you know, to face off like, you know, Big Dave. Uh, I can have a Big Dave, right? Hmm. Or maybe even like Hot Shot, maybe a straight on, you know, yeah, championship, championship opportunity, yeah. you know, for yeah. the open weight championship. Uh -huh. I thought that would be in the cards for me. Okay. Apparently not. When I got, you know, word <laughs> of who I'm facing, yep. I get Joseph. Okay, to be fair, you were away for eight months, mm. right? And like you said, a lot can happen in the industry in eight months. Mm. You know, it's a what have you done for me lately sort of business. Mm. So do you see this as like, all right, so you didn't see me up, lie, as it were, yeah. enough to put me in a more high-profile match. I'm going to prove it by just dispatching of Joseph. Is that your mentality going into this? Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I mean, I got to give some props to Joseph. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, what, in his mid-40s? Yeah. In his 40s, mm -hmm. and he still wrestles. Like, he could be a few decades earlier than that. Sure. You know, I see some talent. I okay. honestly do. Mm. But Joseph, really? That's my first opponent <laughs> yeah, yeah. coming back. I feel honestly a bit disrespected. You know, we are always told to show respect to our elders, mm. especially here in Singapore. Yeah. But I do not have respect whatsoever Ooh. for Joseph. Is it why this match is called a no respect? Single mm, match. I think I'm the one that gave you inspiration to okay. that, you know? Okay. Like, no respect to him, and I think they ran along with that. Okay, okay. Uh, what, what are the implications of a no respect match? Um, To be quite honest, you, quite honest with you, I don't know the full details, okay. you know? Okay. I haven't received, like, what is this match going to be? I know it's going to be a singles match. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm aware about. Mm -hmm. As for, you know, whether there's no DQ, like, a no DQ match, I'm okay with that. Uh -huh. Like, I'm no stranger to picking up weapons and whacking it across an old guy's back. Yeah. <laughs> Or, you know, maybe I'll take I'll take a page out of Dick Togo. Like, just yeah. also grab a chair and just whack his face along sure, with it. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I pick up a few things from Dick Togo. You know, that's an elderly that I would say that I oh, have wow. some respect for. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Right. But Joseph. Yeah. Mm. I mean, but, but, okay, so he's famous for his head, right? He's famous for his big old shiny head. Dome, yeah. yeah, the flying dome shot. Yeah, just hit buds, use your head, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that something you are wary of? Or are you just rolling your eyes at? It's like he's not going to hit you with it. Look, that's just a big shiny target for my foot, okay? <laughs> I'm not sure if Joseph is even aware of that, all right? He can put all kinds of, you know, whatever... I would say hair products, but it doesn't even have any of that. <laughs> right? It's just a big old shiny target for my foot to just whack. Th does he have like a wax to shine? I, I'm pretty sure he's shiny. Yeah, I'm pretty probably. sure he uses Papa Twee, you know? Like, <laughs> rock, like, yeah, all, all the bald people use that. Right? What, even is that? Yeah. what even is that? No, it's uh, the rock skincare. The rock skin. He, yeah. he, uh, he debuted a line of skincare. Oh, oh yeah, he does yeah. have like some kind of beauty product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, oh, right. And then people yeah. were making fun. Like, why The Rock releasing shampoo product? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the irony there. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, Joseph, you know, if like I would send it to you like mm -hmm. as a, just a bit of an apology gift. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know, maybe for Christmas, Christmas is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that could be something. For for context, right? For those uh, just watching or tuning in, right? Right now, we are on the road to Amplify. Mm -hmm. Um, It's mm -hmm. happening this weekend. So when this podcast comes out, it's happening this Saturday, 26th yeah. of October. 26th of October, yeah. yeah. And like, you know, for those who are unaware, I think Amplify is like a long running series. Like mm -hmm. it's it's considered mm -hmm. like your road to shows to all the bigger shows, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and like, you know, we, we, I don't want to gloss over Amplify, but like, is there a timing to why you return in during this period? Because just ahead on the horizon is the anniversary show for Grapple Man. Yeah, so I mean, for me, there's always like a rhyme and reason as to why I always do things, right? Mm -hmm. So I saw that, you know, anniversary is always a special time. Yeah, and like, you know, that's where I had my debut. So I'm not sure if you're aware. That's, um... I can't believe, I, I don't remember exactly what the show is called, but it was the 2019 anniversary show. That's where I had my debut for Grapple Max. 
Oh, okay. Mm. okay. And you know, anniversary shows always hold a special place in my heart. And it's also my face, Dick Togo. Mm. So yeah, I mean, like I want, I I don't want to miss this one. So yeah. that's why I worked hard to come back for this show. Mm-hmm. And I think that Amplify is a good place for me to ramp up, you know, mm. on onwards towards the anniversary show. Mm. Very cool. Um, of course, like twenty twenty four, you started off as champion. You know, um, you just came off that big victory over Dick Togo. Mm. Um, and with the time away right during this period how do you want to wrap up your 2024 like what kind what what kind of things that you want to like get back mm. from the time lost i mean it's already october right yeah. <laughs> so that's not much time to do things but you know after this roadblock of joseph's you know after getting rid of him uh i'm hoping that anniversary they'll be moving on to bigger and better things in 2025 that's what i'm planning for Mm. Do you have an idea what's waiting for you at the anniversary show, or is it a matter of just focus on Joseph now? I mean, honestly, do I even need to focus on Joseph? Oh, 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 so are you? Wow, okay. Like looking past it like, already at this point. This is already a done deal. Oh, mm. okay, right. Okay. I mean, like, there's honestly, like, what's there to focus on Joseph? He's. I've already. Like, I don't need to watch his matches. I already know what he's capable of. His yeah. big old shiny hit, right? Mm. Right. It's okay. just so like you think Okada's he's a one trick. He's a one trick pony. Is what you're exactly. It's just like Okada's clothesline. Just yeah. dodge the freaking hit button. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need to do. Right. 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 Just. Yeah. Duck the hit button. That's wow. all I need okay, to do. Okay. Oh. Um, what What about Joseph and the fact that he does have a tag team partner in his corner? You know, mm. you know. Um, do you see that pot- potentially becoming a threat or a distraction? I mean, I'm not used to you know facing two on one, three on one, that kind of action. Yeah. So if Joseph he believes he needs some help in his corner, that's on him. I I would say that I would lose even more respect mm. than I already have mm-hmm. if he wants to bring his friend just to watch his. Just to watch his back. Yeah, it is D, right? It is D. I yeah. mean, Joseph and D, they aren't those guys, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. They're, yeah. they're pretty cool like that, but okay. I would say they're like you know, again, mm-hmm. some 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 form mm-hmm. of respect to them. Yeah. You know, they're in like their twilight ages, right? Sure. And they're still wrestling. You know, young, I would young say sitting they're right beside you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a wrestler. I'm you not guys wrestler. know your lane. You guys sure. know your lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, one match and done, right? Yeah, 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 one match and done. One and done. All right. But these two, like, I don't know if they realize that this is a young man's game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. I'm hoping. That Joseph would realize that after I met. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I, I want to switch a bit of gears. Sure. Uh, before we go yes, there, though, yes. I just like okay. So I see this whole thing where like you're like, all right, you know, all guys seem to step aside for the young blood, right? Mm. Knowing full well that there are several veterans in Grapple Max too that you have yet to um, bump up against that have been there for a long time. You know, mm-hmm. I don't want to throw out names, but like Dave, like Greg, mm. Dennis. Mm-hmm. Um, are those guys in the crosshairs for you? Talking about guys who are, you know, the trailblazers here at Grapple Max. Look, um, it's uh, it's like uh, I always say, it's not about who I'm facing. Mm. It's about what I'm facing for. Mm-hmm. And right now, it's like, it's always that open with doubt that's mm-hmm. in everyone's mind. Now, yeah, right? yeah. That's like the big goal in Southeast Asia. Okay. That's the goal to always strive for. Yes. So it doesn't matter if Greg is in my way, if Big Dave is in my way, if Hotshot is still even champion mm-hmm. yeah. by the time I get to him. It yeah. doesn't matter. That's why I'm gunning, gunning for In a way, Hotshot doesn't have a dance partner or very, a clear opponent at mm-hmm. this point in time. I yeah. mean, mm-hmm. do you think there's still time to kind of like insert yourself into that conversation? I think I should always be in a conversation for that mm, kind of thing, right? Okay. I think my my skills speak for themselves. I think I should always be in the conversation for the main event scene. So that's what I'm hoping to prove after this roadblock. So, okay. Let's talk a little bit more. I mean, we, we talked about you versus Joseph's already. For someone mm. who perhaps... Um, is not familiar with someone who's new, mm. you know, like we're always trying to uh, get new eyeballs on the product. Tell us, or tell them, what exactly can they look forward to you versus Joseph? Other than young guy beats up old guy. I apologize <laughs> if this is your first match watching, it's gonna be a total, you know, st- st- rollover. No, well, I really no respect. Just gonna no, be not a bit no completely respect. no respect. I no mean, problem. it's in no the match, match itself, match, right? Yeah. It's a no, no respect, respect match. match. Yeah. So my no respect is there'll be no, you know, comeback. Mm-hmm. There'll be no close calls. It will just be a complete rollover. Wow. It'll be me dominating Joseph for the rest of the match. Wow. Okay. Exactly. I think you should only say like one nice thing about him in this entire interview. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, even if that fair, fair props, fair props. Um. Yeah. I want. I wanted to ask uh, one more question, right? Like the fact that. 
for example, Hotshot has been champion mm. all this while, doesn't have a dance partner. What do you think of Hotshot's reign so far? I mean, all right, props to also uh, Hotshot as well. I mean, mm. he beat Big Dave in yeah. the biggest show. Yeah. In our Last biggest year. show. It was a yeah. pretty awesome Dude, night yeah. that The night. crowd went crazy. Yeah. There was emotional moments all over. Yeah. Like his friends and families were there all around. Great. I think he's been a great champion as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Props to him for that. He beaten up Michael Sue from uh, Hong Kong yeah. Wrestling Federation. I remember that match. Yeah. You know, so he can hold his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, like I always said, you know, he should always watch out his back. Yeah. Like we have some hungry killers hmm. in grapple mags. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm the hungriest of them all. Who Who else? I mean, obviously yourself aside right who else do you think uh, as far as the younger guys are concerned has really caught your eye mm. so not necessarily a guy but a girl okay, actually. Okay. but not in that sense i mm. just want uh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 to like, you know she's very talented Divya, yeah one oh, of the yes. wrestlers that just came in yeah. yeah been a what champion in india for god knows how long mm. and just came over to singapore also to prove a mark Nice. Over here at Grapple Max, so oh. I think she's one to look out for. And she does have a big uh, match as well mm-hmm. uh, on mm-hmm. Amplify as well, right? I believe it's a, it's a tag team match. Uh, yes, yeah. she's actually with Hotshot for a main event Ooh. at Amplify, okay. which is going to be a very uh, interesting main event, actually. Yeah, for sure, mm. because we are welcoming some uh, counterparts from Malaysia. Yeah, mm. um, and Malaysia Pro. Young, do you want to tell the story of Puppy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. So when, when this was announced, right, yeah, and yeah. I was doing my Twitch streams, yeah, yeah. Uh, a wrestling fan, someone who mm. actually watches a lot of local wrestling, was like, yeah, yeah I'm super excited to uh, watch Poppy. So I was like, I'm not familiar with Poppy. Mm. So on stream, I go and check out Poppy's Instagram page. <laughs> and then suddenly everybody's in chat like, oh yeah, I'm a fan of pro wrestling. Where can I watch Grapple Max? Oh, so I was like, wow, okay. Typical. I would argue, you uh. if like somebody on this chat say hey i want to watch jordan and you pull out jordan's instagram hey i'll try that this week i'll yeah. try that this week you'll get the same reaction as well. yeah you gotta see what your main demographic that's is. true yeah. that's true yeah i think even in the guy's demographic that would still work like yeah, i yeah, yeah, yeah. get along you know okay yeah, yeah sure, sure. Come, well. come, give, give me yeah yeah <laughs> what yeah i know man it's tough man it's tough yeah. it's tough you wait wait are you implying that you get dms I st- until now, I don't know, man. Why not? She happens. Foreign is a good looking guy. Foreign's in yeah. the building, bro. Foreign's in the building. In yeah. your building. <laughs> Apparently, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, you guys need no, to. No, no, you are happily married. Oh, I'm happily married. That's, married, married. that's, that's right. right. They that's see right. the wedding ring. No, no, yeah. they know the boundaries are there. Yeah, exactly. they, 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 they see the spleen. You're like, hmm. What? They don't see your ring. Have or don't have. Yeah, that's it. The spleen, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but how did you injure yourself again? Hey, what happened here? Actually, it's a football injury. People, people laugh because. Football, but you injure your finger. Can okay, well, you fall down or what? Wow. But I disagree with all those listeners who ask me what happened in the bedroom. There are no, uh, nothing happened there. Okay? He one day forgot to use hand lotion. Uh, See, the hashtag bring back hand lotion. No, 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 hand lotion is long gone. Okay, we are going, <laughs> let's come back, let's come we are back. going way down. Are yes. I wanted to ask you one more thing. So before we talk about this as well, right? Mm-hmm. Like, yes, this is a great international match, but. Have you actually uh, had a match in my PW or have you actually come into contact with like uh, the Wonder Boy? So interestingly, um, just last month, I actually went to Kuala Lumpur for a work trip. Ah, and during okay. one of those days, I actually went over to my PW to you know, check fun. things out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people are aware of this. I'm actually Malaysian. Ah, yeah, okay. So, cool. you know, already like I already know some of the people there. Where, where were you originally from in Malaysia? Uh, from Penang, actually. Mm. Oh, That's nice. Where I'm from. Yeah. Great town. Okay. Mm. So, uh, I thought Seoul, Korea. <laughs> uh, maybe some roots. I don't know. Maybe my family tree expands oh, beyond sure. Malaysia uh, from China. Yeah. I don't know. Not too sure, but okay. maybe. Okay. But yeah, I went over to my BW, and you know, the boys and girls are working hard over there. They're mm-hmm. super talented. I believe uh, Miles and old uh, Miles uh, Karu uh, and yeah. also uh, Wonder Boy. Yeah. They're currently the coaches for my BW. And wow, young coaches. Yeah, young coaches, and they receive training from you know. Edman and also some of the guys from Australia's mm-hmm. pro wrestling scene as well. Carlo Cannon, mm-hmm. I believe, oh, is yeah. their head advisor. Ah, yeah. okay. So that's where they get their training structure mm-hmm. and all that. How's like their infrastructure there in my PW, right? Like, like it's like the main thing is like their their shows and their training school. Mm-hmm. Like, how do they run their business over there? Uh, so I'm not too exactly sure how that works. Mm-hmm. I believe they always hold tryouts mm-hmm. if they, you know. Mm-hmm. If you guys are at Malaysia, you know, you believe that pro wrestling is the thing for you, I believe that my PW is truly a good place. Mm-hmm. I trained there for like two hours, I think. Oh. And like their curriculum is really great, you know. Okay. They, they have it fully safe. 
they do have a good structure, I believe, mm. going on. So I think that would be a good thing if you're a new wrestler coming up in Malaysia. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and also, I think one thing I wanted to ask you is like, you know, you've been traveling. You said you mentioned you travel in Thailand. You had mm. uh, training in Malaysia. Um, what is always the goal for a Southeast Asian wrestler, in your opinion? Mm. I mean, when you're a Southeast Asian wrestler, opportunities aren't as easily discoverable yeah. as in compared to like North America, yeah. Yeah. in Mexico or in Japan. Yeah. So like, you know, if you want to make it big, it's always like good to dream about, you know, going to these other countries, right? Mm. It's always good to get your name out. In Southeast Asia, for me specifically, I would, you know, love the opportunity to go to other countries. Yeah. Like Philippines have a good scene going on. Yeah. Yeah. South Korea also has a good scene yeah. going on, right? Yeah. Pro wrestling. Nice. Uh, I... I yeah, Pro Wrestling Federation, I think it's called, PWF, okay. yeah. yeah. So, a lot of opportunities as well in Southeast Asia. I mean, Australia also has a really bustling mm, scene, yes. right? Yeah. A lot of wrestlers over there has gone over to Japan, mm. over to WWE. Mm. Robbie Eagles, actually, also just recently came over to Grapple. Yeah, right. can, can we talk about that for a quick minute? Because, mm. like, I, when I saw it on social media, I was like, holy crap, Robbie Eagles is in town, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, why is he in town for? Is it just to train you guys? Alright, so um, from what I've heard when he came over, he's actually he actually came to Singapore for a layoff uh, Lay for okay. uh, going to the UK for Royal Quest. Oh, like ah. one of the big shows in, yeah, yeah. in the UK, yeah. So he requested, you know, just ask like the management for Grapple Max and ah. WE if he could come over and you know, just give us some advice. You know? So it was his idea. He just randomly like yeah, know, yeah. Contacted apparently you guys. he contacted us, and I think it just goes to show like mm. the reach that Gravel Max has in Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um. Of course, I also kind of had this thought that maybe is it still that connection that you guys have with New Japan? Because I know at mm. the start of the year you all announced that you know New Japan has some sort of like there is Gravel Max considered like a feeder territory or like a collaboration with uh, New Japan. Mm. So did he leverage on that contact? In your opinion? I mean, honestly, I don't have the details on that, yeah. so I can't give you like you know mm. a truly objective answer on that. But yeah. from what I know, he just specifically requested if mm-hmm. he could come over and just yeah show the girls and boys some tricks. Awesome! Nice. Really love it. I mean, that's a huge high profile name. It is. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay, so let's very quickly looking at this card that's happening this Saturday, right? Yeah. Give me your first thought when I tell you the match. Mm. Uh, Wonder Boy and Poppy versus Hotshot and Divya. It's gonna be fast paced. Okay. Um, it's gonna be. I mean, you already have like two champions over there from Wonder Boy and mm-hmm. also from Hotshot. Mm-hmm. I mean, Wonder Boy. I'm not sure if he's still holding a title. Yeah. But yeah, he's always been like the mainstay for my yes. BW wrestling, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So it's always it's always a treat to see him. Yeah. Uh, Poppy as well. I've also heard good things about her. Mm-hmm. I'm sure a lot of your audience also <laughs> heard. heard. Maybe seen, seen seen good things about her as well. Yeah. So. Hey. Hmm. It is what it is. Yeah. It's a Julia effect. Yeah. 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 So it's gonna be interesting to see mm-hmm. that dynamic. I'm not. I, I don't watch too much mixed tag team ah, wrestling. Right, so right. that's always like you know something to watch out for, especially in Singapore. Is that something you'd be open to doing at some point? I mean, if the cards are right, if the partner is right, then why not? I'm willing to beat up anyone. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Alright, tiebreaker singles match. Sarah Kohlhardt versus Ming Rui. Mm. Mm. Okay. This one's very interesting. Mm. So the women in Grapple Max are always like, want to watch out yeah. for, right? Yeah, yeah. Sarah has been doing like something with Christian. Yep. That's yep. also an old name that I have fought before. That's yes. right. So, Remember? Right? Yeah, sure. so, I mean, it's always something to watch out for. She, just recently, she has faced them. Um, those those people from Japan. Yeah. Um, um, Mesuruga. Yeah, yeah, uh, mm. I, yeah. Mesuruga and it's the Indian guy. I can't remember. So uh, my head. Their finisher was the dolphin. Say, dolphin say louder off, off camera, it's fine. Baliyanaki. Baliyanaki. Mesuruga and Baliyanaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Best bros. Best, best bros. bros. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That was a great match. That was it a was a great match. match. Yeah, I did watch that one. Mm. So, you know, she held up her own, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, she actually could go. I mean, I did face her right. once. She gave me a big suplex. Yeah. I'm still <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, that, right. that's so well. I know she can go. I do mm. know she can go. And if she can pull out that suplex on Ming Rei as well. Mm. Ming Rei is also someone to watch out for. Mm. Last I heard, she was a big old lion. Yes. I tag team with her. Yeah. 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 I, I know that she can also. So it'll be interesting to see these two women go at it. Yeah. Mm. They're very cool. Very cool. Uh, talk to us about this NWE graduation match. Justin. Have mm. we seen Justin before? I don't think so. No. So, he's okay. completely new. Yeah. Right. So I believe he only joined us just a few months ago mm. and, you know, went wow. through the Grapple Mice training structure and mm. he's ready. 
Like right. we always give the new guys an opportunity to mm. step up, and mm. if they can step up, then we of course give them mm. you know a debut match. Right. At uh, and he is teaming with Simon Sia going mm. up against Aussie, 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 oh, oh, who oh. have officially been crowned Aussies apparently yes. after, yes. The, after the previous yes. show. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you can't complain I, about. I can't them talk. Anymore. Yeah, no. They are officially uh, like you can consider them citizens sure, of Australia. Sure. Now. <laughs> yeah. they, they've been. <laughs> Baptized and the or yeah, and the 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah. From, a, from an actual Australian as well. Right, yeah. Mm. yeah. So I can't gripe about it anymore. The Bambellos. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Love it. That's yes. as good as like a citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in, in, a, in, in a very interesting, you know, twist of fate, right? They are, you know, been well known, documented, they are having some internal strife between their team. Yeah. Do you think that will factor in any way in this match or is this going to be like, you say, a walkover? Or do you I, think Sean is actually... You know, he's doing the best Sean that he can now and he should be doing what he's doing. I mean, you know, that's up to them. I don't know what their culture is between those two. I'm not even sure what the relationship is between the two. Do they have kids? Do they not have Whoa. kids between huh? both of them? <laughs> I'm not sure what their relationship uh, is. They, they seem as like, you know, tight. You like, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a... I mean, there's a reason why they're in the finals, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Open-way tag team belts. Like, mm-hmm. they have been consistently mm-hmm. the best tag team not just in Grapple Max but in all of South East Asia mm, that's pretty cool that's they go cool. to Australia for training sessions they work hard yeah. so I mean honestly if I look at this matchup like mm. Simon and Justin are gonna have a tough time unless they can exploit this kind of strife I guess mm. between the both of them yeah. you know, but that's up to that I don't see Simon being that kind of person he's always like the fight guy yeah. Yeah. but you know Justin's the wild card here right yeah. you're not yeah. sure what yeah. he is capable of mm. you're not sure what wrestler he is so it'll be interesting to see what they can exploit. Okay, very cool, very cool. And uh, of course, yes, there's one more thing yes. that's listed here that I'm mm, very, very curious interesting because it is rather um, question mark, question mark, very question mark. big, very big, big. Yeah, TBC yeah. type of thing. Big Dave in action. Okay, I know you're on the inside scoop. Is there anything you can share? Yeah. In terms of what is is Big Dave throwing out some sort of open challenge? Like what? Why is he in action? What's he? Look, Big Dave mm. is always an enigma. He's mm. always like, you know, I don't know what's going on between him and Bond. Mm. He doesn't really interact with the locker room. Like, mm. I don't think I've seen him much at all, so I can't quite say on okay. what's going on with yeah. his yeah. mentality, yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Big Dave in action, what does that even mean? Yeah. Like, he could say something? Uh, yeah. He could I, I, give some push-ups? I don't know, man. <laughs> like, okay, man, he shows up in the ring. Then push up. Okay, bye. And that's all in action. That was, that was all. Ha, ha. My my mind is in the gutter after a conversation. For some reason, what I thought loud? I thought of H and Lita. Like what? <laughs> what? We what? Did, we did in action. Why? This is a family friendly show. Then, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, himself. <laughs> <laughs> himself. <laughs> The hand lotion makes a return. Oh, oh no! no. Okay, oh, versus right. hand lotion. <laughs> Let me kill off that rumor instantly. I'm pretty sure it's not that. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm pretty okay, sure yeah. would, everyone in the locker room would try to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, man. He's a wild card. Let's yeah, yeah. Out. I mean, it could be anything. You know, it could. Like, I honestly don't know. No, like, it can give us H, nothing else. You know, you know what we need to look forward to now. Yeah. The interaction between Big Dave and Foreign. Yeah. Post. I think, need, I think you need to watch out. I yeah, I think know. he will have some words for you, bro. Yeah. I think I might need another splint. <laughs> my, my On your neck. Yeah, whole cast. Oh, yeah. God. Okay. Gotta watch out, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. No. Uh, but you know what? That actually has intrigued a lot of people. Yes. And I'm pretty sure more people bought tickets because they know Big Dave is yeah. in action. Yeah. 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 I mean, he's always been like, he was the former Open champion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has been a veteran in the pro wrestling scene for yeah. God knows how long, 10 mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. plus. Mm-hmm. So... Him doing something as big as this, I think it would be interesting to find out, you know, what's going on with him. But also, like, you know, their, his tag team, Broken Bad, yeah. does have tag team title shots at the next anniversary show. Yeah. So could this in any way be an implication or, you know, a I mean, reminder into that? Is, yeah. a, is it a ban discipline session? Mm. So you come in and like, whack him until he... Wow. No, but they've been working together well. So, yeah. you know, there hasn't been dissension oh, no. in that with, way. With his mentality, like, it could always fit either way. Yeah. yeah. One moment, yeah. he's giving love to Bang. Yeah. The other moment, all right, maybe bad choice of words. Props. One moment, <laughs> yeah. he, he's... Spending him on the back. Working well with yeah, Bang. Yeah, yeah. The other moment, he can yeah. be just slamming him with chairs and yeah. stuff like that. So, who yeah. knows, right? Yeah, well, okay, cool. whenever I see stuff like this, right, I always go to who is not wrestling, who in mm. the roster is mm. free, mm. you know? And, and... I go to looking at social media, look at Grapple Max's social media and see what's going on there, then ah, we get here or there, you okay. know. That's where my head is at. Lah. Okay, mm. okay, so you look at the clue, so you're encouraging the listeners to... Oh, 
Check out Absolutely. Grapple Max's sh- uh, social media to Correct. see what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Check out our roster page and Grapple Max, see who's missing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You Spe- can be able to figure it out. Speaking on digging up rumors and like, you know, mm. uh, speculations, mm. right? Um, I just want to ask one question about anniversary show. Ah, yeah. mm. Do we have anything that you can share about what's going to happen next month? A, a venue announcement perhaps can, is there any sort of breaking news mm-hmm. that you can share with us right so um, besides you know being really good at wrestling I also do have some inside scoops Ooh, okay there you for go. our anniversary show mm-hmm. so I think this is like our first time you know this mm-hmm. uh, exclusive scoop we haven't revealed anything oh, on social media nice okay. nice oh. nice so it is officially called the Grapple Max Pro Wrestling Festival. Wow. Oh, festival. Festival. Mm. Okay. And it's actually supported. We are supported by the government now. Supported by wow. the People's Association. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, next level already, man. Next supported level. by PA? PA? Yeah, PA. Ah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So wow. We are officially getting up there now with this, yes. I guess, Singapore's hierarchy. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So if it's government approved, it must be good. Mm. Ah, that means people can come one. They will say like, okay, okay legit, legit. Yes. Yeah, this no, one right. is approved from the government now, ah. so you have to come. Yes. Mandatory. Right? Okay. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay, wait. So, 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 like, are we? Are, we, are, there, are there gonna be any ministers as guests of honor? You see, this is no show, you know. Yeah. I mean, who knows? You have to Ooh. come check it out, right? Stalin needs to take bar more. Hey, 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 hey! Don't know about Maybe, that. Who knows? Maybe right? I could be the one giving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, shit. it's very interesting. Uh, our ministers are now super like into. Um, Social media. Pop culture and social mm, media. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you saw um, Senior Minister Lee Sien Long. Yeah. He talked about watching Wukong playthroughs yeah, on yeah. YouTube. Oh, I really? Saw, I he saw like, hey, he's on Mothership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fellow like gamer. He knows video games? Apparently. No, he goes on YouTube and watch the playthrough. Playthrough, like he doesn't have ah, time to play, la, you know. I but mean, see the let's plays, the walkthroughs. Yeah. Or maybe learn uh, the storyline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can read the book, la, but the fact that he is yeah. into this gaming Even culture in a way. Of it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Pretty, it's a big deal. Pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool, pretty cool. I'm very curious to know like how did this partnership come about? Like how did they, was it, was it they yeah. find you guys, you guys found them? Was it something we need to uh, consult Greg? <laughs> I on? think uh, I have exclusive scoop but not the, the scoop is not that Oh, uh, not high. <laughs> not that deep. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if I have a big scoop for that. I okay, think that's okay. the thing you would have to ask management We'll for. put on our mm. investigative cap and yes. uh, yeah. let you guys know some But research. I'm pretty sure there will be a uh, guest of honor. Okay, mm, definitely. Yeah, really. Okay, yeah. so so this is a festival. So I'm assuming, mm. is it just a show? Is there going to be fringe events? Is there going to be a whole day mm. thing? What's happening there? Yeah, so for this anniversary show, we're going to be doing something that's a little bit different. Mm. Mm. So for this show, uh, actually on the day itself, the itinerary is that from 10 to 12 p.m. there'll be workshops. Okay. And it's mm. completely free for oh. anyone to attend as well. Wow. So imagine sort of like an open house where you do like, you know, some kind of like curriculum mm. on like chain wrestling, mm-hmm. running the ropes, that kind of thing. So we'll be doing that as well for wow. our pro wrestling festival, for nice. our anniversary show. That's pretty cool. Wait, wait, do, do you mention the venue yet? Oh no, we haven't discussed about that yet. Okay, so it'll be held on the 16th of November. 16th okay. November. Okay. 16th Next November. month. So not, Save the dates. not that far. Yeah, right? Save it's the dates. less than a month. So make sure to already clear your dates mm. Mm. for uh, honeymoon, whatever, just cancel that. <laughs> just come to the show. When's the next time you can come from a government government approved wrestling show? Exactly. Right? It's a Saturday by the way, so no mm. excuse, no work. If your boss yeah. asks you overtime, tell your boss to go away. Okay, tell I got your boss to come along for the show. Uh, yeah, so you can slam him. Yeah, exactly. Or her. Exactly. Ah. You have an excuse for that now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I got I got some breaking news that literally came out on my phone. Ah, uh, yes. And I think I can at least mention this. Okay, uh, okay, go. Greg says that there will be Yes! A Minister Guest of Honor. Yes, ah. correct, correct. Ah. So, confirm this I think of opening ceremony ah. and then Guest of Honor, that kind of yeah, thing. So, okay, yeah. 16 November, venue? Mm, venue ah. would be at the Jurong Spring Community Club. Ah, ah community The multi-purpose center. hall. I see. Ah, mm. you, you hear that? That's my heart breaking because it's in the West. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Alamak, take a bus, take right. MRT lah. No, 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 cannot go oh. East-West tonight already, very hard. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's repaired already. Oh, repaired, right. Right. Repaired, right. Repaired, right. Repaired, right. Okay, yeah. you say, uh, you all say. Unless it breaks down again, uh, no jinx. Like. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Mm. He ah. said MP, MP, not minister. Got difference, ah? MP. MP, not minister. Wait. We will find out akan datang wait yeah, yeah. What is it? Yeah. on their It'll social media determined. page. Yeah, they will announce one. Never confirm. know some kind of last minute run-ins. Uh, yeah, even from prime ministers. You, you, yeah, it could be a swerve. Oh, yeah, mm. and then someone even bigger <laughs> shot. It's <coming>. priest nana. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's a swerve. So okay, Jurong we'll... Spring Community okay. Club, 16th of November. Mm-hmm. Clear your schedule and everything. So okay, exactly. you talked about 10 to 12. There's the uh, tryout shows. Quote, unquote, yeah, that jobs. kind of thing. Then from 6 p.m. onwards, it'll be. Our actual show. Ah, okay. Mm. So that's where we have our wrestling, 
mm -hmm. you know, exciting matches coming up. Yeah. And I think one of the first ones that I can announce oh. is actually my match. Oh, oh so you, you do okay. the, you teased do us. Have a match. You tickled oh. the balls the whole two That's hours. That's the reason uh. why I'm even giving the scoop is because I am in it. Uh. And, uh, just now, remember, I was like, hey, hey what are you uh, aiming for? Uh? Uh. I think you know already, like. Yeah, there you uh, go. Like, uh, ice cream, mm. ice cream. Okay, carry on. Ice cream? Scoop la. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm. You so let I mean. me give you the different the different flavors of scoops. That yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So well, of course it'll be me. Mm. Right? I'm gonna be wrestling in the match, mm -hmm. and then I'll be facing. It's actually a triple threat. Oh, mm. okay. okay. A triple threat, and there's actually an international wrestler. That another international wrestler that's gonna oh. be involved with me. Okay, wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. So first up, the first opponent is Simon Sia. Ah, oh. okay. Okay. High mm. flyer versus some striker. History, be some history mm. there. Really always, always exciting to watch him. Yep. Always yep. exciting to watch him fight, and also the international wrestler, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shaheen of the Sky from WrestleFX. Oh. WrestleFest DXB Dubai. Oh, oh. Dubai. Mm. Shaheen of the sky. Okay. Shaheen. How much of his Damn. work have you seen? What do you know of him? Mm. For those who are unfamiliar. So I am aware of him because I'm a big fan of New Japan Pro mm. Wrestling, mm. and he's part of the New Japan Pro Wrestling Academy at the LA Dojo. Ah. Wow. Mm. So okay. his work got him noticed from New Japan Wrestling. Mm. Pretty dope. And okay. he has wrestled, you know, so many countries. Mm -hmm. So is he based in Dubai or is he an American training in I'm LA? I'm pretty sure. I I I think he's the hit trainer for Dubai Wrestling Academy. If mm -hmm. I'm not wrong. Wow. Yeah. So he's the hit trainer over there, and he has been wrestling all across the country, the globe even. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's doing some work for the LA Dojo, and I think that's like his like main base of operations right now, if yeah. I'm not wrong. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. Wow, mm. yalla habibi, I can't wait, I can't wait. Mm. <laughs> Alright, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, okay. so there you go, we have uh, an opponent for Jordan mm -hmm. coming up on... Opponents. Opponents. Yes, mm -hmm. we have the match. Is there any implication to this match? Do you think it might lead to anything down the road? Again, title opportunity in the future? I mean, it's just gonna be simple, I'm gonna be winning the match. Oh, oh okay, well there you go. Yes. Like, like, these are all roadblocks to my eventual goal, mm. which is championship opportunities, championship yeah. belts. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So it doesn't matter who it is. It mm. could it could be Simon, it could be Joseph, whatever. It could be Shaheen of the yeah. Sky. Mm. In the end, I'm still gonna be champion at the end of this road. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I like how we completely gloss over Joseph and. <laughs> the well, I mean, I mean <laughs> as as you should. As you should. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Maybe that one percent in me might would love to see. The underdog. Oh, wow. Well, would you consider him? Oh, okay. You know, he has gotten so much love from the audience. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, even the people watching, yeah. you could be Joseph supporters. Yeah. You know, the people love him. Mm -hmm. Use your head, la. Those kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, use like, your head, yes. You know, like he has gotten so much love from the audience, which I do not understand. Oh, okay. Maybe they are all also old at heart. They want to <laughs> see. Maybe they see their grandpa. Yeah, they yeah. see the elderly. <laughs> like like seeing elderly all, abuse. You know, you don't want. Yeah, elderly, yeah. They don't want to get the elderly abuse and all that. Yeah. You know? Like yeah, whatever. Yeah, this is sense. my opportunity to show them like okay. you know why they shouldn't put all their eggs in the Sure, Pretty sure. cool, really cool. I think we may have to uh, get a little bit more of an objective <laughs> yeah. discussion yeah. about it's not that. Bias. It's not yeah. bias. Oh, I mean, um, in just a bit. Yes. Do, do you have any other uh, anything else to share for the Global Max show? Mm, so that will be our first announced match. So actually the mm. main thing is mm. the show is completely free to the public. What? what? Wait, wait, wait! It's absolutely free. Anybody it's can just free. come down. So anyone can come in. Uh. You can watch our matches. You can even come join in the free workshops oh. as well. Do you have to sign up and get a free ticket, or can mm. you just like walk up and just so, grab a seat? So let me tell you how it works. Right? Mm. So general admission is free. So uh -huh. really, you have no excuse to not yeah. come. All right. Damn. Okay. Sixteenth of November. Come all the way. I don't care if you're from the west, if you're from the central, if you're from Philippines, Indonesia, yeah. whatever. Just fly over. All right. Yeah. So well, it'll be at Drone Spring Community Club at the multi-purpose hall. Mm. 16 of November and it is free for everyone. Uh, oh, we, we, we just... Uh, mm. Greg is in my ear. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Tony Khan or Triple H in my ear. Triple H, busy man, busy man. Sorry, sorry bro. Tom is not walking. So, okay, tickets must be claimed from the website. Uh, so, okay, yeah. so you... And it's limited. Limited, it's limited. Yeah, so yeah. get them before they get... Completely yeah, snapped up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, tickets, you have to claim it from. All right. So be quiet for this. All right. Yeah. I'm just gonna tell everyone right. where all to right. claim it from. Let's go. P W Festival. I hope you can spell festival. All right. Oh wow. P W Festival. <laughs> dot P -A -Tix 
dot com. All right, Pietix, I'll spell it out for you. Okay, okay. okay. Clearly, we have a lot of idiots listening to our podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if the Josen supporters are watching us, uh, I assume that okay. you know they're gonna be in that F-E-S-T- regard already. F E S T. Oh shit! Are you a Josen supporter? No, no, I'm definitely. I'm, I'm uh, you can spell. I, I, right? I'm missing. Yeah, 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 go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Right? Website. Festival. All right. P W Festival dot Pietix. It is spelled P E A. T I X, right? Piatix.com. So that's where you can claim your free admission. Yeah. Okay. If you and can't spell Tix, right? It's T I. Thomas Jefferson, sucker! Yes. You get that? <laughs> if you get that reference, I love you too. Mm. 2 plus 2 equals Thomas Jefferson, sucker? <laughs> Do you remember that? Um, I think it's out of my age. Uh, yeah, yeah. As you... Bro, is this a boomer? T- I don't understand what's going on. Wait, I'm older than you. Bro, mm. Booker T and okay. The Rock, they are segment on Rock. Oh my god, you, I think... you're, huh? definitely, you're definitely not. I thought T-I-X, what? What does that have to do with X? No, because... Okay, if I have to explain the joke, it's not funny. No, let's just move on. Maybe it wasn't funny to begin with. Ah, uh, you guys, you guys. Okay, okay. Guys, okay Leave it in check whether you thought you caught uh, foreign's uh, deep cut. It's yeah, a deep cut. No, it's not that deep, but sure, carry on. Uh, um, okay. Uh, okay, so when do these tickets go on? Well, not sale, but you know, when, when can they be released? It should be live right now. Oh, yeah. so oh, really? By already? the time, okay. yeah, I think pretty sure by the time this releases, yeah. they should be able to go to the site and claim it for their own. Wow, right, 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 okay. Right. Uh, if sure. you have any questions, if you don't know how to spell festival, just go. Mm. Just go to Grapple Max's Instagram page. I'm sure all the information will yeah. be posted. All the, and the social that, well. in the bio. Yeah. 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 yeah, Let me just add on one more thing. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you want to show a little bit more support to Grapple Max, there's also a very worthwhile VIP upgrade that you can. Oh. Do mm. Okay, okay, right. Okay. So a VIP upgrade it's also inclusive of an exclusive fan seating area. Mm. Mm. Right. So general admission, you can sit anywhere you want, yeah. but you probably won't get like the really comfy seats yeah. that we would have for our VIPs. Yeah. Right? All right. So. This is an upgrade of $25. 25 mm-hmm. you just top it up mm-hmm. and then you get this ex- exclusive fan seating area. Mm-hmm. Besides that, you also get a very exclusive event t-shirt that is worth $35. Oh, nice, so nice. you really have the value from the t-shirt itself. Yeah, maybe yeah. a t-shirt or and buying some of the merch. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. I've seen this shirt, you know, it's very nice design. Mm-hmm. I would love to have that. So it's an anniversary theme design? It's a exclusive to our anniversary. Okay. So okay, this okay. is like limited. You won't get there like, you know, next year, mm. that kind of thing. So it's going to be exclusive to this festival. Awesome. So I can't wait for the social media rollout, all the announcements mm. that you guys are yep. going to make for yeah. the show. That'll be really, really interesting. Mm. Um, last question as well. On, in terms of the layout, right? Because I'm assuming it's a community center, mm. uh, MPH. Mm. Um, how would you see the fans who get the VIP upgrade be seated there? Like, how, how, how would that be laid out? I mean, honestly, it? it's going to be close to the action, right? So mm. it's going to be as close as you can get to mm-hmm. pro wrestling action that you can get. So I'm not too sure on the specific details, yep. but you know, you can, we'll be able to see like from the entrance to everyone wrestling right in front of you. Yep. Mm. So the value is worth right there already. You'll be able to see me up close in action. Like, yep. I mean, that's worth sure. your, definitely worth your $25 yep. plus yep. the shit already. Like. Awesome. Get some of the Jordan sweat. I mean, uh, aura. Yeah, the opa. Up close, that kind of thing. Plus a thousand aura, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, any final message for your opponents, Joseph and Samansia and uh, the Shaheen? Mm. I mean, I'm just gonna address you, Joseph. Okay. Right? Okay. So, honestly, in my entire life, I've been told to show respect to the elders. You know, growing up, I'm sure both of you have also been told to respect yeah. your elders. Mm-hmm. I don't respect you, Joseph. I really don't. And you're gonna realize that on the 26th of October when I kick your head off. I want to drop the mic, but the mic is on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't want to drop I the mean, mic, but there, there was that. I'm mic just drop. gonna show. I'll show more respect to the mic than I do to Joseph. Oh. The disrespect this entire episode. Man. Damn. Damn, man. I mean, have you seen his promo video? He drank both beer and coffee <laughs> yeah. at night. Right, that's horrible for your body. Right? <laughs> what are you doing, Joseph? Uh, that, that already shows uh, that you shouldn't even respect someone like Joseph in the first place. Uh, Maybe he's trying to say that no matter what goes on, I'll still you know persevere. Even if I have shitty sleep, even if I have caffeine and alcohol, I can... You he's know? trying to clear his digestive system. Uh, so what? Fun side. Uh, I'll say LS drink first. The... Nah. Okay, never mind. But yes, mm. yes, that's a... That's a great way to end the show. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Jordan, thank you for your time. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for having me. And there you go. That's Jordan. We had Prabhu on the show earlier as well. What a fun time to be a pro wrestling fan. Huh? Yeah, I man. It's always fun to be at the Grubber Max Studios. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they always welcome us open arms. And I'm very excited for what they have in store for this next couple of weeks and months. Absolutely. Well. You know, here's the thing. Like, we always take a break at the end of the year, right? Yeah. But I feel like this year, 
a lot of stuff is going to be building up to the debut of WWE on Netflix, mm -hmm. uh, local wrestling scene. What is AEW going to do to counter-program, quote-unquote, right? Yeah, so, yeah. oh man, it's, it's a good time it's, to be a wrestling fan. It's a good time to be a wrestling fan. It's a bad time to kind of like end the season, I feel. Yeah, yeah. But we, most of you forget, we uh. ended our season last year with Survivor Series oh, and yeah. CM Punk returning. That's true, that's so true. So, I, I, even though we are out of that cycle for a bit, mm. I think, you know, the wrestling uh, cycle will still continue going. Yeah. And bro, we're going to end off things with a bang for Kick to the Gut as well, Oh, right? absolutely. And uh, once we have more details, we will tell you, we'll fill you in on them. That's why you need to come and join us on Discord. Follow our social media pages. Hang out with the uh, community on Discord. There's always something to talk about in the world of pro wrestling and we'll chat about it on the Discord. So, Discord links mm -hmm. in bio and all that. You know how to find us. Lah, huh? Yeah, for sure. And we of course, please support us on Patreon as well. Uh, we have a lot of perks there. Mm. And again, as part of the Patreon uh, perks that we have, we are trying to build towards the Singapore Wrestler Top 20, our ah. first ever local wrestling list of mm -hmm. the Top 20 Singapore wrestlers, be it from Grapple Max, SPW, and Ring of Rebirth. We will unveil that list pretty soon to end of the year, oh. along with our Kick to the Gut Awards. I can't wait. We've been down to all the uh, wrestling events. Even if we are not there, we have our eyes there mm -hmm. to, you know, suss out the entire scene and it's going to be fun to crown our number one and, and see the whole list yeah so uh, watch out for our announcements really really soon as we announce like where we're going to doing uh, where we'll be doing it the venue mm. how we're going to go about the whole process I'm yeah. it's going to be really really fun uh, as always we need to shout out our lovely sponsor Hasif Hasif underscore captures drop uh, our dude uh, follow on Instagram he is an independent financial advisor you can ask him about anything it's not just about that stuff you know what I mean yeah, like dude's sure. into fitness uh, he's into makeup yeah, for you can sure. You can have day with Hasif. That's like a series he does. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and yeah, you know, you, again, like if you want to have a second opinion on your financial portfolio, mm. you can check him out. Uh, if you want to learn more about small businesses, how to start small businesses, you can talk to him as well. Mm. I think most importantly, he is very, very interested and curious about our wrestling community. We are going to try to get him to one of the local wrestling shows yeah. for the end of the year. Uh, that will be really, really fun. So please follow him and please thank him for supporting Kick to the Gut. Absolutely. And thank you for supporting Kick to the Gut. Thank you for your time. We will catch you again soon. But as always, it's Mr. Young. And it's for In the Building. Bring the bell! Bring the bell!